lasting three hours. We don't know exactly what this is going to be and if they are going to um, give come with 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 some surprise content. Sorry, but man. we will definitely let Nikita talk about this. Yeah, and in the meantime, while we are waiting for Nikita, I would say let's introduce ourselves for a bit. Normally, ladies go first, but because we cannot see you, Gingy, maybe you, you will be able to fix the webcam so that when you talk, we also see the face behind the voice. Uh, what do you say if we leave you with the introduction for as, as last? Is that okay? That's fine. Sorry, it does okay. say I'm in the meeting. Okay. It just says... Okay, the meeting host worry. will let, let you see, in. Let What's up, Kona? You because it's very possible that I'm the I'm the one which has to just admit you in. But I didn't oh, okay. admit, it, admit you in because up, of the um, like problem break. you were having with the webcam. Oh, there she hey. is. All right, it works. It works. Now, then we do start with ladies first. Yeah. So, Gingy, please introduce introduce yourself. To, up, introduce to? yourself to the community, and then we're gonna follow up with with the rest of the guest panel. What's up, Average? How are you doing? Um, hi, I'm Gingy, known as Gingeliness. Just changed my name to <coughs> Gingy. So, play Escape from Tarkov, obviously. The guys uh, are saying I'll go that next. They... Oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. The guys are saying that there is no sound. Then no uh -oh. sounds. That is a problem. That is a problem. Okay, Wait, try you hear now, you? guys. Hello. Yeah, the problem Hello? is we Hello. can get ourselves on Discord, but not on not on, on Steam. But it's not a problem. We can I think we have fixed it. Let me let me just quickly check. Yo, Luke, thank you, you so much for getting us. Um uh, now? Test, test. Hello, hello. 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 Yes. Ooh, I'm a magician. I know. It's it, it, it was actually my fault. Just by, by, by doing one click. Okay, so once <laughs> again, once again, <laughs> Ginger Linus, you have the second chance to do an even better introduction. Yeah. So uh we're gonna start with Ginger Linus or Gingy in this case. She has changed I'm not muted. from Ginger Linus I'm not to muted. Gingy is what it was the name that she was pursuing, uh right, I guess, but it was yes. it was taken. <clears throat> So, I'm uh, now take Gingy. it away, uh, uh, you have the word, Ginger Linus. Um, Ginger. I play Escape from Tarkov, pretty much the only game I play. Um, been playing it for almost two years, so, yeah. Okay. Now, um, yeah, uh, any volunteers? Uh, I'm Tony, or Landmark. Maker, thank you so much for the professional Escape months. from Tarkov idiot. Um... Uh, <laughs> Probably, maybe know me. I stream all the time. So, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? <laughs> all right, glorious hyperat. Oh, uh, I'm hyperat. Uh, I guess I'm just more known for farming a billion rubles like every wipe. So, uh, yeah, ruble. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, <laughs> hyper, rat, hyper rat is not a rat. Yeah, in the game, you know what what rat, rat in chat means. Hyper rat <laughs> is definitely not a rat. I'm calling him a hyper beast. <laughs> okay, okay. And then Thank Glorious, you, if you want to introduce yourself. Streaming every day, playing only Tarkov. I'm a lab rat. I only, like, basically, I main labs. Um, started to play other maps as well, but mainly playing labs. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to quickly um, tell Morgan, you guys thank how this is going months. to I appreciate that, bro. run, basically. This, this, uh, this is what I thought about it. Uh, after doing the int introduction, we're going to be waiting for Nikita for a bit, and then we're going to talk to him. And um, regarding the questions coming from chat, we are definitely going to take some questions, but do not start asking the questions like right now because they're more than likely going to be lost somewhere in the chat. Wait until we have the opportunity until we call that. Yeah, and then you guys will have the will have the chance to ask your questions. And remember, very, very important, we asked Nikita here to come and, and, and talk about the game, talk about the project, and also talk about my coin. Um, you know, the yeah, the Escape from Tarkov main project. Um, let's not ask the same questions, yeah, because these questions have been asking every single No, it's not that I'm nervous, bro. Podcast, am, I, am I quiet? Podcast, you know, like when swipe, um, you know, I'm sure chat will spell, will, will, will spell, will spell. Am I really exactly quiet? Right now. But yeah, by the time we, we reach, we, we, we reach out with the questions, let's try to come with some creative questions. I am sure we're going to find a lot of them. What are you guys going to think? Or what are you guys thinking? Or what do you guys think that we are going to be having with this patch? Just what they mentioned on Twitter or some more stuff? The one right now with the daily yeah. tasks 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I On think their it stream? just be daily tasks. I mean, yo, Dre, thank you so much for the five gifted now? man. Mm, I don't think so. But but do you think that we're only going to have um, the fundamentals for what's about to come, or we are also going to have daily tasks? Um, you know, the mission. I'll be honest. Itself. I'll be honest. I think they low key putting some more stuff in it because daily tasks shouldn't last for that many hours. That's just my opinion. Um, I think we're going to see a little bit more, maybe a surprise or two, which isn't That's posted up. <laughs> maybe. Like, mm -hmm. uh, but like, yeah. think about it, bro. Like, three hours for a daily task. Like, that's. I don't know. Because. I have no idea. Is Tarkov dead? No, 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 no. I'm not going to start it. No, no, no. <laughs> I take that back. But, like, don't get me wrong. Like, um, maybe. I don't know. That's just me. I would hope we see more. I wouldn't. Ex I'm not expecting anything. Um, I think if they did daily tasks well, that would be a nice bit of content. If there's like something to to chase for everyone to log in every day and do, mm -hmm. I think that would be a nice little addition. Okay. Especially if we all have the same tasks. Like if everybody has kill three PMCs in dorms, then dorms is a lot of fun for that day. Okay, because everybody's going to do, do be doing the same. Yeah. Okay, when you when you guys play Escape from Tarkov, are you guys driven by this having a goal thing? Like I go customs or I don't go customs because there's nothing else to do, or you simply go for the PvP or or looting or so. Hidden stashes, bro. That's where all the money is. <laughs> uh, I I personally am chasing PvP, but it's nice to go. To, it would be nice to go to maps with a different objective and still run into lots of players instead of like, oh, I'm going to go to Shoreline and, you know, loot all the stashes and not see anybody. It would be cool to have like a, an objective to do after you're done with all the quests. Okay. Hyperrad, Jinji, you guys? Um, mm. I don't know. I'm more of that type of person that loves to loot, but I like to kill everyone first and then loot. Cause I see. I want the loot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of the same with Jinji on that. So I yeah, like... I don't know. PvP is super important to me. Mm -hmm. Same here. Glorious, I guess you just go PvP labs. Uh, there's no looting <laughs> on, unless the, the no, no. I've actually started. Fine. I actually started looting. Like today, I made twelve million in two and a half hours on labs you yeah have to loot now man yeah, bro you don't make money by you doing pvp broke. yeah you broke yeah and everybody's like one mag andy anyway like putting all the mags in there <laughs> bro i can't i can't make money like bullets cost bro m61s yeah. are expensive so you have to take your time like after you wipe the lobby you gotta loot the lobby and then You're leave get some, yeah. yeah and there is yeah. barely any radius left like that's one of the questions i want to ask like is that on purpose like is it because they want to avoid people farming raiders on labs or like what's the thought okay. behind it because mm -hmm. when you when you open up an extraction the raiders doesn't spawn in the extraction now they spawn randomly now i don't know if okay. you guys noticed that yeah i've only been yes. getting like one or two raiders a game on labs it's been weird exactly and sometimes they just spawn somewhere like weirdly silently and then start yeah. sp sprinting towards you and you don't even know what the fuck just hit you and you died. They kill a slide at your ass. Like, I, you just be like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> like, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed the recent patch kind of made them spawn like in more, I guess, like diverse areas. I've been seeing them a lot more in like, uh, like near the cars and parking, they'll just spawn there randomly. Uh, the tunnels too. Like down towards um like sewer for example, I've noticed they've actually spawned like in there now, which is very weird. So it's definitely okay. like a lot questionable spawns, I would say. Indeed, like they changed something with the raiders. Indeed. Yeah. So, in your eyes, is everything negative now regarding the the raiders or? or... Oh no, not at all, not do at you guys all. I like them being challenging. I, I do, I do. I like them being challenging, but there's a few bugs that I do, do want to talk about. Like regarding them, okay. like the biggest one being the double damage bug, hmm. uh, okay. where they just shoot you once and they hit you yeah. like four times. Like yeah. that is, yeah. that bug is very annoying. Yeah. Okay. It happens. 
regarding regarding what you said before, it it it, it kind of um, I, I got it. Yeah, this is live right now. Um, do you mean it seriously that you cannot make money? That you're not making money with just killing players? Are, yes. are you serious oh, yeah. about this? Or? Yeah, yeah. It, unless you're Explain. running like really cost-effective gear, you're gonna mm -hmm. lose out on money. It's yeah. just you you'll die before you make money from taking their stuff. Okay. Um, okay. You might you might get like gear to use, but your ruble count will definitely go down. Ammo's too expensive right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because we can't sell the guns or armor anymore like we used to. Yeah, the to prices me, on selling gear is like way too low. It comes down to the fact that like taking someone's armor or their gun, the value for how much the gun takes up in your inventory, it's not worth it. I know I'm muted. We talk over Discord, guys. Twelve slots. I know I'm muted. Take, I know. I know. You know, it's on, it's on purpose per slot versus a gun <clears> that might sell for like a hundred k or so. So you're bet you're usually better off just leaving the bodies and then taking the the rest of the loot from the map. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you actually have to spend your time in the map, even though the lobby is empty. Yeah. Yeah. That's labs though. Like I don't know how the other maps are. Okay. What is the maximum amount of money that you guys cash that you ever had in Tarkov? Oh, I don't. I don't care about money. Like, yeah. Okay. I don't care don't, about okay. It. <laughs> like I'm not a looter. I'm a shooter. Yeah. Uh, but I'm. I'm sure you remember having had uh, two hundred millions or so, or no? No, I have hundred million you right really now. Don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care at all. Okay. I think last swipe was the most for me. I think I had like 1.2 billion. <laughs> Whoa. Was, yeah, yeah, last swipe, I had the most I've ever had. I had like 800 mil, but not, I just don't care about it this way. Okay. Um, if if you guys, let me let me come to like a, a maybe beginner's question because there's 3,000 something watching True right answer. now, and I'm sure uh, they're probably going to rewatch the VOD or, or or watch it on YouTube. If you would give an advice to a Tarkov beginners, or like a serious a list of advice or or you know like uh, points that they should consider important, what should this be? And everybody can say. Yeah, um, their opinion on this, of course. Uh, just think, think that you have just bought the game. Yeah, it's not oh. you uh, playing. You, which I mean, one of you guys uh, who bought the game four years ago. Yeah, you have just bought the game and you're new into Tarkov. All right, uh, I'll go first. Uh, my uh, biggest, uh, I guess, tip for everyone is like map knowledge. I would say like everyone like jokes on me for it, but simply just knowing where stuff spawns, knowing extracts is like. Huge time saver, saves you a lot of time, and you start developing roots for yourself that this it just helps you in the long run. Makes things a lot okay. easier. Okay. Pull up a map mm -hmm. online and have it on like another screen or something while you play. <clears throat> so you at least know where to, to go and like the main the layout of the map and the points of interest and the extracts. Indeed. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. I know when I, I first I when I first I started this game, I wasn't a raid and I couldn't even figure out how to get out. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, Rick? Thank you so much yeah. for the nine months, man. Uh, Gigi, Scab, what would your approach be? Honestly, when I first started, I um just had like the one monitor, so I pulled a a map up <laughs> on my phone and would He's just see come. where I needed to extract Andrew's because if I didn't, then I would be completely lost and just probably go MIA. <laughs> Glory? I mean, I always tell people to play maps offline, online, watch some YouTube guides, use your scav every time it's available. And yeah. if you have two monitors, even use your phone to open up a map. And then only play one map until you know where you are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, scav pay attention helps me to a the, lot. the time. Don't go yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. Yeah, indeed, indeed. <laughs> True. All right, everybody. Nikita is joining. So let's. Can we spam some hearts <clears> in the chat <throat> for the COO of Battle State Games, Nikita Buyanov? We are all, all, all of us very, very excited. Big boss um, is joining, guys. To hear from him. What's you know? What's new? What's going to be delivered? If the patch is the patch, by the way, live, guys. Can can um, glorious? You're streaming. Can your guys check? Is the patch live? Guys, let me see. Is the patch live, guys? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna admit. It's not. I'm gonna admit Nikita into the conference, or into it's our not meeting, live. Okay. meeting here. They're saying and it's not live, see. by the way. 
Yeah, it's not live. It's not live. It's okay, not live. Okay, then Nikita, Nikita will probably tell the, tell us more. <clears throat> and there oh, shit. he is. I'm gonna remove now, myself, Nikita guys. We have to join this court because we cannot hear him yet. There I'm just gonna remove myself a little bit, chat. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe awesome. make awesome. myself awesome. smaller. Please, 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 please Thank you. Yes. Actually. Thank you. Yes. Very good. Oh. So. Dimitri, I have Dimitri sent you the, um, the Discord link. I can send it to you, to you privately. You should have it. There you go. Y'all can see Nikita, right? If you want me to the big send boss. It to Nikita, I can do that as well. Y'all can see Big we Boss. We won't be able to hear him until he joins. Zoom in. <sighs> oh, really? I have ever? I can send him, Dimitri. I can hear see what Dimitri anybody. I'm sorry. Come on, guy. Nikita is already with us. Okay, but is he on Discord? He needs to come Discord. We logic. Tell him because we had this problem before. Yeah. Okay. Hello, plastic. <coughs> I remember back then when that big podcast took place with Summit and the boys. We had to come Discord and Zoom. So Nikita knows about this. <laughs> Not a problem. We're, 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 we're all good. All good. We're gonna wait, Nikita. The patch is live? Time. All right, let's go. Big, <laughs> big man, thank you. Let me grab the link again if necessary. Isn't this good billiard? <laughs> oh, y'all. <laughs> okay. The patch is now live, apparently. The guys are saying, let's see, Dimitri, which room to join? This meeting is scuffed? Why, Elodian? Why is it scuffed? 13 gigabyte? For real? It is. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Okay. 26 gigabyte. I'm curious. I'm very James, curious. thank you so much for the nine what, months, what man. Appreciate that, brother. The patch and everything. Oh, do you understand Russian? No, I don't. Uh, yeah. I... Is it that big? We cannot. Not Let's yet. go, dude. What's going on? We're doing a podcast right now. We're doing a podcast right now. Let's see. <coughs> okay, then, I'll, <coughs> Dimitri, I'll definitely drag him here. You guys join both, and we will drag you here. I told you the channel. He will be in Oh, it's to only the 16 anyways. megabyte. Oh, I thought it was gigabyte. Okay, never mind. Because the other ones are locked, you know. I mean, let's go. You can't lie. Let, let me give uh, you this link. It's giving an there. off. There, Dimitri. Who is? If, if he clicks on that link, Lydian, he will immediately who is giving an right awkward... on our channel, my friend. This is how we did it before. There you go. That's true. That's true. Nah. I didn't get it. We didn't even start yet. Drag Viking. Okay, the moderators <clears> are prepared. <throat> We're just waiting for him to pop. I'm doing good, Apollos. How are you doing, homie? It's gonna start very soon, guys. It's gonna start very soon. Let's Extra start arm? The nah, dog. Here nah. on the channel, it, it was exactly this procedure, and it worked. So it should work this time as well. There we go. We have it. All right, Dimitri and Nikita, we should be able to hear you now. Yeah, he does. He does. Can you hear me? Yes. Foo, finally. All right. Good evening, Nikita. Yes, hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry Welcome. for this te te technical uh, things. And I'm sorry I'm I, I'm kind of late because uh, right now we are uh, we are working on the patch with the with the operational tasks, also known as uh, daily quests. And right now we just <coughs> uh, we just made the patch live right now. And uh, hopefully everything will be stable. You know, no, I can't do it. That's what I was oh. busy about for the last okay. day, I guess. Not, the whole day. not a problem. Not a problem. We <coughs> told the guys that you're going to be 20, 30 minutes late. Mm -hmm. 
uh, before before we start, before we, we give you the word so that you can talk us through what's happening in, in, in the world of Escape from Tarkov and at Battle State and, and so on, uh, I would say in, on behalf of every one of us here, congrats and happy birthday for the seventh uh, birthday on yeah, Battle State Games. Thank you. Thank congrats you. Congrats for that. Thank you very much, Nikita, for the beautiful content uh, you have made people's dreams come true. And I don't overreact in saying this. And you have pro provided an excellent content so far. And we are very happy and proud to have you here with us. And uh, one more thing I would want to add, Nikita. Um, for you guys here on Discord and for the community as well, it is very rare, guys, to see um, a mastermind of a game popping into someone's chat and talk about the project, yeah? Normally, you see highly scripted podcasts or interviews. Nikita is here to answer some questions, to talk about the project, and uh, this is something we should definitely respect. This doesn't happen in every single game out there. So, Nikita, one more time, congrats, happy birthday, <coughs> and um, take the word and tell us if you want us to start with the current status of the game, or maybe you want to start with a patch, maybe? uh yes yes uh so we we decided to uh, like do this sneaky upload of the daily quests we we kind of wanted to add them uh, into 12.12 .12 patch but uh we decided to make it earlier because there is this time period of waiting the sound is too and low we just want you to be uh less stressed about uh the like the duration the delays of uh 12.12 .12 well, so up. we decided to haste it up, to speed it up, and release it earlier. The first iteration of daily quests, so-called uh, operational tasks. Uh, I hope they will give you like something to do, I guess, uh, or uh, give you the, an idea uh, how the operational tasks okay. will be uh, in the game. Uh, Thank you, Superlex. It is exactly. And uh, yeah, it's, that's what we are kind of rushing right now. It's not only thing that we are rushing right now, because there is, yeah, a lighthouse, the there is a twelve point twelve there is a 12.12 features, there is a different features uh, that we want to uh, maybe release earlier too, I don't know yet, but uh, uh, there is like ongoing processes, different uh, kind of groups within the team, and we are constantly, constantly making like builds, testing them, and preparing everything to release. And uh, for today, it's it, there is a uh, like this operational tasks, and I hope it will be good addition to the game for those who are wanting to find some new source of income within the game. Uh, not only the like uh, resources actually, but also experience and stuff. So yeah, uh, the update is live right now, and uh, feel free to check. I don't know right after <coughs> the podcast or. Major thing Incredible, with the resub. I don't know. And this is what's going on right now. So the general idea in the in, in our team right now is to prepare this initial plan that we released on the Reddit, like four patches uh, during the end of this year. Uh, it, it, there will be new location included. There will be major features included, like the second iteration of weapon malfunctions. And, and actually, I actually tested it uh, yesterday. No, not like yesterday. I tested it like every single day. But yesterday, uh, there were a version like really, really close to release. And it it feels and looks uh, really good. I'm like, uh, it's, it's, it's really good to see that the feature that I designed with, with, our, with my team, with lots of additions uh, with my, of, of my colleagues, it works. It it's turning up uh, really, really good and uh, polished and finished. So uh, that's what we do right now. A lot of final testings, a lot of preparations for the play testing, for the ETS testing and stuff. So uh, a lot of work, and we're kind of focused on it right now. This is not only about the actual <clears throat> production. There is also a huge amount of events is planning ongoing so uh this is like pretty intense uh autumn already and at the end of this year i think it will be really massive in terms of new stuff and uh, 
like on everything related to the EFT. So this is it. Okay. Related to to this uh, new feature, the operational task, the daily quests. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you talk us? Can you talk a bit about it? Like how big of a project it is? Are these auto-generated missions which never end, or it's it, they're limited? Uh, it's fully generated. It's personal. It's linked to your uh, profile. Uh, the first iteration uh, has a different kind of links uh, to your to your profile. The next iteration will have more uh, different kind of quests, more uh, specific individual things within the, within the quests, and we wanted to keep the, to keep it this way, uh, to be fully fully generated, fully personal individual quests, and they will never end actually, okay. and uh, they have different kind of difficulties. And uh, right now, the first iteration is about the actual. Uh, balancing so we need to understand how how it will be uh, for different tiers of players mid game uh, like early wipe players and so on and uh, we, we want to see how it, how it feel how it will be exactly within the, like within the big amount of players and uh, logically speaking speaking uh, it's a kind of <clears throat> it will be better if we release release this feature with the wipe but it's not possible right now, so we decided to do it uh, right here, right now. Without any warning, we just released it to see uh, how it will be. So, uh, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> there's like three types of uh, quests right now. Uh, there will be more, of course, but right now it's uh, elimination. You need to kill different kind of like players, PMCs, scavs, uh, different uh, distance, different areas okay. uh, of... Uh, hits like head, my head shots, think of it too shots, much man appreciate that bro uh, different locations and so on the second type is uh survive quests you need to survive uh the location and it's in extract from the location and uh, the third type is <clears throat> find and bring in an item uh like different kind of items works for that think uh, of that 11 months man appreciate that homie receive different kind of rewards they also tiered uh and linked to your uh a level <coughs> the overall progression within the quest lines within the uh operational tasks so the initial idea is that is this so it's fully generated it's not something that we put in uh, like the lines of quests like the lineup of quests or something yeah, or like trees of quests it's just generated things with a lot of incoming parameters that will uh, change and uh, differentiate these quests to fit your uh, gameplay style in the future, uh, your progression, and so on. Loyalty levels and everything else. Okay. Um, guys, do you have a, quest a question related to this new feature? <clears throat> I'm, I'm um... going to go with one more. Hyperrad, please, please. Okay. Um, so in the future of daily, like, tasks, will there be tasks that, like, affect you personally? So, like, um, let's just say, like, it's, like, a part of your inventory is taken up and now you have to, like, I don't know, go into a raid and, like, find, like, I don't know how to put this in words, but, like, let's say, like, your Bitcoin farm goes down, for example, and, like, you have to go and raid and, like, find something that fixes it or something like that, like a daily task like that. Will it be something potentially like that that affects you? It's it's more uh, this this kind of quest is more like uh, not generated things. It's more like quest itself with the oh, this kind of scenario or something. We we didn't plan such type of digitalization within this uh, generated quests, uh, but uh, there will be more quest for sure. Oh, I for think example, it was fourteen months. There will be dynamically generated mechanical mechanic quests. Uh, like uh, they will be about uh, weapon customization and stuff. So it will be like uh, infinite quests related to the weapon customization and okay. so on. Okay. Um, is there a certain progression to this? Uh, there is no progression actually, but uh, there is, a, and there will be uh, like uh, statistic gathering and uh, all of the stats, uh, they could be related for 
uh, different ki different kind of quests unlocks within the quests that you will actually not see the progression in them because they generate it they will generate every single day and later every single week too but uh in the future uh your progression your gameplay style your like performance within the um, operational tasks will bring you more unique quests uh some kind of like super rare quest or something they will give you more <coughs> awards they will be different in terms of tasks and they will like be uh, something like legendary task or something and they will be totally unique and just for you uh okay, and that's they nice. will be triggered by the series of different kind of things oh that uh, sounds nice before, honestly like in your profile something or you completed think something of the you found something so they will change this uh generated uh algorithm and yeah. uh, it will bring you more different kind of quests and, and with more unique uh requirements and awards too yeah sure okay. sure more okay. guys go ahead if you have a question is there any plan to do some sort of daily task that is shared amongst all players yes actually this is uh also planned i don't know which which tier which generation but uh yes uh, there will be so-called global tasks and they will be about everyone so you will need to That's do awesome. some kind of That's quests awesome. and we will have the pool of results or something so the like the, the, the global i don't know how to say it and in other words there will be you will need to do some kind of factional quest uh, or uh, like you need to do something as scare, for example, and there will be some kind of global statistic, global uh, state, and uh, it will influence on some uh, parts of the game too. So yes, we plan to do this uh, kind of quest when where you need to actually do something not only by yourself, but everybody need to put some effort in the result. Okay. Okay. Any questions related to this new feature, guys? Sh um, should we move on? I have a question real quick. Sure. When you say everybody has to put an effort, does that mean we have to team up with random people to do a daily quest? Or is it like... Does that make sense? Uh, it, it's more like, uh, <clears throat> for example, uh, like the simplest uh, kind of task is like, you need the bears, bears will need to kill you sex, for example. So there will be global okay. count that you need to like kill oh. twenty thousand insects, oh, okay. and you need to do this all together. It's not it's not something like you need to cooperate, but it's more like global kind okay. of global progression. The quest with the global progression, and everybody put their efforts to like progress. With, that sounds pog, dude. That's pog. Okay. That's pog. Now, if one side okay. does win, so like if let's say you side versus bears, like does. If bears do win, do every single bear like get a reward, or is it? Yeah, something like this. For example, if bears will win, uh, the prepper unlock uh, the secret uh, loyalty level with the secret uh, equipment or something, and it will be av available just for the bears. For example, for the uh, limited amount of time, something like this. I have a okay. qu another question. <clears throat> so, we got the daily quest. We got the weekly quest. Quest. Um. Are we go is there going to be a like um the daily quest is gonna be very simple and the weekly quests are going to be very hard or is it uh, actually there is already there is uh, the chance that you the system will generate you hard type of uh, daily quest too uh weekly quest will be uh, like the same actually but you'll need to do a lot of iterations like you'll need to bring a lot of items on or kill a lot of players. So it will be just prolonged period of time for the week, and uh, they some of them will be pretty easy. Some of them could be like hard. It's also will be uh, linked to your like actual profile and your gameplay play style. For example, if you uh, will uh, like not be able to complete any single quest, even the easiest one, the system will bring you like more easy quests for you for you just like to balance things and uh this is it this is like this is okay. the cup 
What, what is the idea? You, you said that you, you guys are planning to deliver all four patches, three remaining now, uh, till the end of the year. Um, can you tell us, or may, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm just going to ask. Can you tell us if, if Lighthouse is going to be released soon or more close, close to Christmas as, as a Christmas gift or surprise? Can, can, can't tell you anything about Lighthouse because it's right now is in the, like, uh, still a lot of things to do, <laughs> like optimize it, and uh, I can't tell you when exactly it will be. We have, like, okay. inner, inner plans, but still, it, we, we can't talk about Probably it. Probably, like, just okay. uh, not to say anything wrong. Okay, and then we we are they going to have the t the features you guys planned uh, inertia, voice over IP till the end of the year if everything goes well, of course. Or some things have been delayed. Take your time, Nikita. Not a problem. I'm sorry because we just uploaded the patch, and I think I I I started to receive some uh, different kind of feedback. I need to respond. Yeah, the guys in the chat are saying <coughs> that the, the Bitcoin tar timer is not accurate. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's. I guess. I guess. Are you guys going to? Uh, I mean, I, I guess you. you I, I guess you guys are going to try the daily tasks, right? All of you. Yes. I'm very hyped and, oh, yeah. and interested about this because they will give you a goal in the game, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's nice that like. Some of them are about to survive, some of them are about to kill. So if you want to focus on killing part, you can do killing part. Or surviving part, you can do that as well. So I think Okay. Fun. It'd probably be better for like the average player that doesn't play the game eight, eight hours a day. Give them like <laughs> something to do for more of their playtime. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Probably yeah, won't take you eight hours to do the, the task, so <laughs> they were done just like to fill this the gap, like to do to do something new. Mike is too far? Yeah, really? The, the the idea was to create something like oh, okay, I sound like a robot. Yeah, Alright, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Not a unique uh mechanic actually. But, is it better now then? But uh, in EFT it it, it will help. It's better now? Alright, my bad, my bad. Different place. <laughs> do the daily quest somehow... only Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, go ahead, Junji, please. Do the daily quests come from only one trader, or is it multiple traders? Oh, multiple traders. They will okay. randomize so, from different trainers. And every trader will have its own uh, guidelines for this quest generation. So it will okay. not be something totally random. So the therapist will give you more me medical-related quests. Uh, Trevor will want uh, some like some kind of like weapons and stuff, uh, uh, rare food, rare drinks, and so on. Uh, mechanic w wants you to bring um, different kind of mods and different kind of weapons, and will award you with mods. And Hold up, guys! So I'm I'm just gonna try to fix something real quick like with the sound. One second. Not only uh, with, the, with actual like how you play, how you complete this quest. They are also one sec within the actual traders so they they, they actually different from trader to, to trader mm -hmm. do, do you oh. get trader reputation from i'm just pulling up the volume on everyone to the main we, decided, we decided not to change uh, trader reputation at all not for the completion and also the the fail uh, fail fails failure how to say it quest failure uh, okay we decided not so uh Okay, thank you. Draw the your reputation, so it will it will stay the same. As, as, as okay, the so you're saying it will not have a negative uh, impact on your reputation either, uh, right, Nikita? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, will daily quests get harder as you level, or will it get harder as you do more daily tasks with said trader? Uh, right now. It's uh, will be harder within uh, like with with your leveling. So you, if you level if your level be higher, the quest will be higher. But again, uh, there's still like the, the chance that you will be <coughs> randomized with easy kind of task still, and okay. uh, it's just like the, the the random thing. And in the future, we will try to make it more like per personalized. <coughs> what about the okay. reward system? Okay. My what? Uh, what about the reward system? Like, higher level you are, harder 
quest you get what about the reward like is the reward better for higher level or yeah, of course of course yes the rewards okay. will be better for sure yeah mm -hmm. So that that is what I was asking at the beginning, and I'm, I was very curious about it. Is there a progression into into these daily tasks? Like the more you get, you start with very basic ones, and the more you get, you get more complicated, and you get better rewards. Is this how you guys planned it as well, Nikita? Uh, it, yes, like the first yeah. one, like the quest for, for example, five till eleven uh, level of your character, they will be pretty simple. Like okay. bring something like some common food uh yeah piece or bring a, or some like common weapon or something and uh, they they are really simple and they give you not so much uh but uh it will be they will constantly will be but getting better and better with your leveling so level 71 for example will give you much more things but the quest will be harder for sure okay 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 Guys, can we move on with another question? Uh, Nikita, do, would you want to, b before the guys go on, would you want to tell us something about the, the, the future of the game, the future of the project? Uh, where do you see yourself at the beginning of the year? Or what, where, where are we with Streets of Tarkov and... You know, not, we don't want a date. We, we don't know. We, we know that you cannot give us a date. But how is the progression going? Is, is the Battlestate crew uh, still increasing? You guys were like 150 or so, you know? Yes. Uh, how is it looking like for the future, for the, uh, the, for the final release? Uh, it's not actual big amount of uh, features or locations left because we, we kind of move in uh direct uh, finish line and uh, there is like several big core features left uh, several locations left and uh, uh, it's all about that so right now we are completing the 12.12 .12, and the next year we will be completing this final features and the uh, final locations three of target starting location finishing location and uh like this is it. We we kind of wanted to to make it real this year, but with all of these limitations due to pandemic and stuff, uh, it became too hard for us actually. And mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope next year we will close this deadlines, close these milestones that we designed a long time ago for these uh, core features, and uh, finally we will have this uh, total knowledge and understanding. Uh, when exactly we want to release the game, the exact date of the release. And uh, I hope, not only hope, it must be next year, not release. And the next year we must, must, we must see this date when we release the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it must be next year, because I don't know, like we're too tired uh, about uh, the production of EFT already, and we want to move on, of course. And right now we just we we only wanting to complete the game, complete the core features and what's left, and it's not much left actually, and not in terms of work itself, but in terms of complexity, like the um, total amount of features, the content, because the game has a lot of content already, a lot of weapons, a lot of items, gear, clothing, locations even. Uh, different mechanics like hideout quests and stuff so uh it's kind of filled with everything you need to play the game all it's left to make uh, lore quests uh, storyline quests and actual like the like what we, what the actual name of the game about we need to escape from tarkov so we need all this quests all of this content to actually escape from tarkov and <clears throat> the game will be completed not, not completely. The game will be finished, but not completed, because uh, later on we'll need to add more DLCs and stuff. But again, yes. uh, it will be the actual release. It will be moved out from the beta status, and uh, yes, and, and uh, it will be a pretty important. Not pretty important. It will be the most important period of time for us. The release. And. Uh, yeah, we need to work 
and uh, make it mm. faster, bring this moment closer to us, because it's it's super important. Okay. Yeah. Guys, go ahead. <clears throat> <laughs> You you were mentioning some core features, Nikita, mm -hmm. um, which are, which still need to be finished. Can you mention them? Like, what are we talking about? Streets of Tarkov and the Unity update, and and what what are we talking the about? Unity here? update is planned for this year. I'm talking about core features, which is like storyline quests. This co feature contains a lot of things that needs to be done. It's not only just quests. It's the full new system for it and uh, everything related so it's just not not just a single feature it's a big feature consisting of medium features and uh, small features too we need uh, to complete series of tarkov which, which also can uh, bring in a lot of additional features uh, within the game new kind of extracts and uh, different things that will be on the streets of tarkov so this also not only the location it's also a a pile of features that needs to be done and all of these features will be used in other locations too so it's all linked together also okay. like there's several features that uh, not so big uh, like advanced uh, uh, silencer related things advanced movement things it's not big but it, it needs to be done <clears throat> maybe something else because right now there's a still huge list of features that I wanted, I want, I always wanted to be in the game, but uh, it's not possible to make it real in time. So the thing is, I need to cut it off, move to DLCs, and decide what exactly will be in the game. And I can't tell you more about it because uh, let it be a surprise, a little, like a, yeah. a, just a little surprise, because. Uh, still a lot of things and something i can tell you about something i can't uh but uh some of the core features will be this year and uh i hope uh, everything will be okay with them and uh yeah the next year we need to close these biggest things and <clears throat> i got a good question feel and uh, this like fill the end fill the final day and uh right totally understand what what do we need what do, what do we need else what do we need else to complete the game yeah but again uh, like we totally have the general feeling that we are closer than we thought uh to, to the release and we just need to make it real like put uh all of all of work, all of hard work and effort that we can, because this is the most important period of time. The end of this year and next year, too. Okay. <clears throat> I have a question. Please, go ahead. Yeah, um, now that you mentioned core upgrades, like, on the core of the game, basically, are we going to see some uh, upgrades on servers as well? Like, basically, like, um, desync, um, vertical sound on civil several parts of maps like different yes, maps this, this, is, this is technical things yeah i i didn't mention them because this is the routine actually we always like fixing it we're always adding something for example the last patch brought like decreased the loading times and different kind of optimizations we are like not saying about it every single day and people think that we we do nothing about it but again we did a lot of things uh, we still plan all the things we even we if we had like the the, the lineup of quests of uh, features and different kind of like content plan for example it's still a huge amount of work related only for optimizations networking and many many other things for example unity 2019 is pure technical task it will bring more different kind of optimizations and fixes pure technical fixes too uh and uh of course uh, like it's it's totally normal for us uh, to do these things and if we are not speaking about them loud it doesn't mean that we don't do anything about it yeah 
I am sure you guys have prepared. Uh, <clears throat> I, I saw Hyperant asking on Twitter uh, for you know <clears throat> questions from his community and so on. I'm sure you guys have some some questions. This is your chance. We are in a podcast with Nikita. Feel free to um, ask them, and I'm sure Nikita is here. Nikita, Nik Nikita is this type of person who he has been here in this in this podcast or in this channel for three times already, and he knows that we are asking challenging questions. He is not hiding from them. So, guys, go go ahead, and you know if we can help the community, this is our chance. Yeah, like uh, you can ask whatever you want, just. Try to be more specific, as uh, it's always hard for me to tell something huge, like what's the vision of something, something again okay. about something, something, and it's always hard for me to combine words together because I'm not the native speaker, and uh, it's kind of hard for me, especially okay. in the late in the late, late uh, night uh, Friday, and uh, there is like the patch on going right now, people uh, bombarding several chats with different kind of issues and i'm trying to not to um be sad about it too frustrated yeah. about it but yeah this, this is this is work i actually i there is a there was a moment that i w wanted to just to say that i i i not be able to participate in your podcast because okay a lot of things are going on like but i decided to, to move in so Feel free to ask anything, and uh, I will try to answer your questions, of course, no problem. Perfect. I have a question. Um, it's about labs. Um, it's about the raiders on labs. Have you guys changed the spawns on, on the raiders? And um... It's a bug. It's a bug. We, we, oh, we it's a bug? Okay, it. okay. Yeah, yeah. We found it earlier, and uh, I think it, it's fixed it with this update, with okay. the daily quest update. So yeah, it's a bug. Okay. Uh, regarding the raiders, do you know if the triple damage bug will be fixed? Meaning, like they shoot you once and their damage basically multiplies. So like a BP raider shoots you once and it counts as four times instead of one. I uh, I remember this, uh, but uh, still, like we kind of I, I kind of put it uh, into the how to say it into the pool of tasks um, and sa it said like uh, guys we need to check this and as far okay. as i know as far as i know uh we we know about this we cannot be sure that this is a bug it may be just a visual bug it's it, it may be just something uh like showing incorrectly uh because on the server logs everything seems right so it must be something in between and that's why it's still not cleared up, so we need to get more information about it. But I will write this <clears> down <throat> to recheck it. Okay. Um, quickly, just just for the guys who are watching, uh, glorious. What are you talking about when you when you when you are mentioning raiders? Because me, I, I don't know what's I wrong mean, with them. Well, basically, when you open up an extraction, normally raiders will come where you open the extraction, right? Like if you open up hangar. Raiders comes out outside, like from the um, hangar, coming out from the hangar mm -hmm. outside, parking the same thing. If you open up G or O, Raiders will spawn down in basement or will okay. walk towards the where you are basically. Now yeah. they don't spawn. They they don't spawn when you open up the hangar or parking. They basically, maybe they spawn randomly somewhere else, or maybe they don't spawn at all. Okay. They just, they just didn't spawn because there there is a, there was a bug related just for the if you hit the switch nothing happened just here mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it was a bug. Okay, so we were actually talking about this, and you you wanted to, you were wondering if if they removed them because of too much gear farming, but now we have the answer. It's just, it's basically a bug and yeah. it's it's yeah. it's on the works. Okay. I got okay. A, another question. Would it be possible in the future to get Sturman's jacket? What Sturman's ja jacket. Sturman's jacket. Jacket. Because ah. uh, that's rippy. Like I think it's 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 uh, it's not actually. Uh, I I'm afraid it's not possible because it was designed uh, to be unique. And if you will try to put something over it, like gear mm. uh, or armor vest, for example, it will yeah. sleep a lot. So it's purely just for the boss. Okay. But okay. 
I think you will be able to obtain his pants, for example. And also, uh, why it's impossible to obtain his jacket? Because his jacket with the hoodie, with the hoodie thing, how to say it? I don't know. Uh, with the, how to say it? The thing. Yeah, the hoodie. Yeah, the hoodie. The hoodie. Yeah. And uh, if you also, if you will, like, put the helmet on, it will clip. So we, will, we need to do a specific model for that, suitable for the customization, gear customization. And it's not so prioritized, you know. And uh, oh. some some clothing I think will be available to obtain with uh, like this kind of quests, like kill kill Sturman for one thousand times or something. But uh, not every single clothing piece will be available to obtain. So oh, the reason why I asked that was also because like we now that you guys are changed killer spawn and can spawn in the entire map are you guys going to reduce 100 killer kills to a lower number uh, instead in the future good question. i don't know because it's still a unique thing and uh, i like the idea that the game has something so hard to obtain mm -hmm. okay. and only okay. those who will invest a lot of time will be different and uh, this is a good idea it's also r was related about copper container and uh, uh, the general idea was to the copper container was designed uh, it was not intended for everybody to have it so it was not designed to be as end game content or something because it's not the end game content and uh, but it was too hard for the most uh, amount of player base to obtain it so we lowered uh, the level requirements and so on it's always you know this kind of thing that you you do something hardcore to the game and it's too hardcore for the general yeah. audience you need to yeah. roll it back a little then <laughs> push it more forward towards a hardcore concept and it's always this like two step forward one step back in the game slowly going for the hardcore PP people are you talking about arena steel. But Did sometimes it's too hardcore. But sometimes we take the back, aspect of the game. Give you yeah. something. I got more, you. I, I got you. More, I got you. Like quality of fly fish, and uh, but still, they. We need to move forward towards uh, the concept. For example, uh, the second tier of malfunctions is really good. You will never see such feature in any other game. Wow. And uh, these kind of technical things, they were recreated like totally realistic and uh, it brings more types of malfunctions, five or six types more. And all of you just, oh my god, we are kind of bothered with the single malfunction. <laughs> and now it will be six types of malfunctions. And we decided to add this gap of weapon durability you will not be able to have any kind of malfunction any kind of malfunction. you okay. wanted that you wanted that that perfectly uh repaired perfectly weapon uh in the perfect condition will not uh malfunction. will not jam will not receive any kind of malfunction that's so awesome we that's to awesome it. that's it awesome a small amount of this like for that's I awesome honestly 95 to 100 durability the uh, the weapon will be like pristine oh that's awesome not, dude uh how to say it correctly it will not jam for example it will not jam but depending on the ammo or it will never jam with between 95 and 100 it will never jam except the overheating factor if you overheat your gun within this uh gap yes it will jam, but it will jam related to the overheating. So this is it. So okay, like guys, come on. You can use your weapon. You can be sure that your weapon will not jam, but you will receive gems, a lot of new type of gems, uh, not like instantly, but okay. this, uh, but this like uh, the chances will uh, be increasing slowly right after like 95 and down uh, of the durability. Uh, characteristic so and also if you will over if you will uh overheat your gun it will also jam but it will be different kind of gems too so the feature itself it's right now it's 
useful and i think uh, now right now like in uh, not right now in in in, in the current version of the game but in the 12.12 it's a perfect condition of <laughs> such kind of feature so i hope you all will like it and it definitely give you the hardcore feel but it not will not be so painful as it is as it could be because uh, uh, if we actually decided i'm to not gonna ask it, about features like guys. right now you will like be receiving more types of malfunctions with like your gun could be 100 percent, but six times uh, six types of new malfunctions and uh, it will be painful but right right, right after this in the 12.12 .12, there is this there will be this uh perfect condition and the, the gun gun will not jam okay so how will you will there be some kind of indicator that your gun is like overheating for example will that be so you will see the over, like over the... you will see the overheating effect actually there will be heat wow. haze and everything okay okay which so is which we cannot cues. see now it sorry landmark go ahead go ahead yeah brother. so it'll be purely like visual cues from the the model of the gun it won't be something on your your hud yes, yes. you will see oh. that at the actual implementation of uh so the overheating overheating will be the purely uh visual thing like the indication of it on your gun like of course there will be some kind of like the the barrel or the silencer will like uh but the, with a lot of heat uh, it will become uh brighter i would say it glow a little like a little and uh, not like uh, in a division like like brightly uh, but it will glow a little, and uh, you will see the heat haze effects and everything. But you will receive a bunch of things related to the overheating, and uh, for example, increased fire rate, automatic fire rate, um, and then like I will not tell you more. You will see by yourself actually. Please. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> cool feature. Now, now, quick, quick related to this, Landmark and uh, I don't know the rest of you guys, uh, Jinji, I, I don't know you, Hyper Red and, and Glorious, do you guys have experience with firearms in real life? I can't answer uh, that, we're not allowed to do I it must in admit, Landmark. I, I don't. I have a little bit. Mm, I mean, okay. I, used, I grew up on a farm, so I shot stuff, but no, okay. I'm old. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, um, um, if you guys know about this, uh, and, and I'm sure Landmark has a lot of guns be behind him, and Nikita has been using guns as well. When you say that you, you are implementing all these things into the game, Nikita, are you based on how the situation is in real life? Is this how it works in real life, that your, your weapon <laughs> has a stoppage uh, just like that? And, you know, it doesn't, you, you know what I mean? Do yeah, you... Yeah. Do you you implement the stuff taking into consideration the reality of course uh, like uh, for example the malfunction part that we are finalizing right now it's based purely on the real life uh things but the, like small uh simplification but the general idea the mechanics uh the drawbacks uh, like debuffs and stuff it's all based on real life most of all it's based on our experience my experience and uh, this is a good hardcore uh weapon feature as i said like you will never see this implementation in any other game i think they will start to copy of course but i understand actually why anybody needs to copy from us because the eft is about everything that we done for this game and it's not something like eft is just about weapon customization eft is just about looting eft is just about locations or characters usex beer uh hatchet runners or something eft is everything about that we created and it's like the concept uh, like everything that we created uh combines into the whole concept and this is a eft it's not only about even uh, the content it's not about the content it's about the emotions it's about the 
uh, the whole package the whole package yes. for sure and uh, uh, of course uh, if somebody some some game or some like concept try to make something like us and uh, take just only one feature and bring it in and uh, it's it's not the EFT cuz this feature is suitable for the EFT not for the any other game so i'm like pretty positive that some of the features for example the malfunction feature it's uh it's only it's only good within the EFT and it will it will be only good in on in the EFT so uh I wish I knew more words in English to describe what I can, what I want to describe. <laughs> По-русски, то, конечно, проще всем сказать будет, but in English, uh, it's too hard. <laughs> I have another question. I know yes, I sir? talk a lot. Uh, I apologize for that, but um, this one is for more of those players who's more like PvP or inside, like um, about the arena. Do we gonna go? Are we going to have any like form of a competitive scene, leaderboard, rank system? Of course, in arena. In arena? So how is yes. it going to work? Like are we going to have like how are we going to make money? How are we going to you get will, the gear? You will know everything pretty soon. I I hope uh, the first part of the information about arena will be before the new years and uh I, again, I can't tell you more about it because it's still in production and we want to disclose uh, everything specific. But yes, you'll be able to like earn money if you will have the main account. Because uh, I said before that there will be ability to buy Arena without EFT. It will be a standalone game. I don't know. But if you have uh, the EFT with the uh, with the You'll see pass how to say it like oh, you, oh. you know the thing that oh, so. you will buy the top version of the game and you receive this the, thing. Oh so if you have DLC content you mean or yes, yes, like like the, the feature of uh, of this maximum package of the game. Uh, okay, the content which comes with that certain package yeah, yeah, that you well, buy. Like, and yeah. you receive this all for free because you bought you bought the, 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 the maximum version of the game. So you will receive the arena and you have the connected main account to the arena and you'll be able to earn money for the main account. You'll be able to use your loadout within the arena. So it will be connected and everything and everything. So uh, this system is pretty simple and yet complicated. But again, the arena is creating for those who want to play and actually have fun, you know? Okay, okay. So that's um, and, and it's all about PvP there, yeah? Uh, in, in, in arena mode, it's all about PvP. Uh, in arena mode, you not the, the different kind of modes will be not uh, entirely based on PvP. It will be PvE, and okay. it will be a training PvE sessions too. So it will not be ranked, but you will be able to play, uh, like to train with your team in different kind of modes. So it's like a PvE mode in EFT, but it will be simpler for us to make it real in EFT because the locations will be smaller and everything will be cheaper for us because the PvE, uh, of, like offline PvE, will still be on our servers. So uh, it will just be unranked. Will we be okay. able to like fight our friends and stuff like that? So like yes. will we be able to? Okay. But that's like offline. For the training okay. Purpose. Okay. Um, um, you're speaking when you speak about it, the, the arena mode. You seem you seem that you guys are pretty far away with it. Um, I can tell you that from, I, I can tell you that we're far away. <laughs> yes, we are, as I said in the in the, like at the end of the uh, August, we finally started full scale production. So we are working, and this is a separate like micro team within the team. And uh, no, we are working actually because right now is uh, uh, something will be done. For example, the arenas uh, uh, are in production right now, and uh, we are finalizing the, the design documentation and all of this matchmaking stuff, rating related stuff. So uh, it's 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 going. So we are like actively working on it, and I think uh, like maybe there will be something to tell and show you 
in the end of this year i don't know because again uh lots of things i'm going but we are working on arena like pretty uh much can i get back okay. to one of the things you answered like you said it's going to be PV pve orientated how well. is that going to be though as well but how is that going to be like competitive wise you know what i mean like Nikita like, mentioned a training PVE session. Yeah, PVE, yeah, yeah, PVE, but where is the PVP in that in arena? Like if it's going to be training and... So the thing is, the arena will consist of different kind of game modes. Okay. The game modes will be PVE, PVP, and uh, everything. So okay. it will be uh, multiplayer, session-based, ranked matches. Okay. And there will be separate things Ooh! just to train. It will be okay. uh, like unranked, unranked matched in CSGO, for okay. example. Okay. So okay. you will still be able to okay. play with anybody you want. You will be able to create closed matches just for your friends uh, or your team. And these matches will be online, but they will be unranked. So you'll be able to train, fight, like have fun, and all, record content. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. I just had a question regarding like a uh, going back to like sort of like the PvP aspect. Um. I've noticed that the arms kind of tank bullets sometimes. Uh. Do you know if there's like it's a hitbox bug or anything like that? Because uh. Uh. We actually changed it several times already, and uh, uh there was a thing that uh arms just. Clans? What do you mean? Shots, system, bro. Uh, and they propagate damage as a black limp or something. Uh, f lately, uh, f like before that, we changed it that the arms are being penetrated. The kill cam? Then we removed double damage. There was a double damage in arms. And uh, right now, they do tank several shots, but it's not nothing, something like. Uh, like they yeah. they not they not do big difference right now, I don't know maybe something changed because uh, but I I I was I wasn't reported that uh, something wrong with it because yeah, yes cause they, tank, they tank a little but not so much. I had a okay. recent experience with a Lapua AP round being able to tank a a shot. So if you shoot someone at the chest level and let's say their arm that's holding the gun takes the shot, uh, it'll count completely towards the arm and. Like, it won't do any other damage. Yeah. Mm, that's strange. I need to recheck it. Okay. There's this instances Shinji. where uh, the player's, like, back will break and their arms will go up to their head mm -hmm. and it will basically tank shots yeah. and it, it, it can be anything. It sounds like the old bug, actually, and uh, maybe it was brought back by some reason. We need to check. We need to check. I, mm -hmm. I, I noted it down. Jinji, is there anything you would want uh, the game to have? Uh, is there anything you are missing in the game? Not really. I think most of what my um, community wanted me to ask him, actually, he covered pretty much in like the arena mode. Um, there's a lot of people that don't play the game want to play the game, but they don't know how to get into the game because they're scared to play solo because they want a PvE to be able to learn the game, like maybe some type of like tutorial of going through a mission to show you how to loot, how to shoot your gun or whatever. Okay. That's so, what I, I, I mentioned uh, the first mission and the last mission, the first location, the last location. The first location is planned as a training location. It will be a tutorial, it will be simplified linear location and uh, there will be just the basic uh like knowledge and understanding how to play the game in this location okay mm -hmm. within some kind of series of task or something so yeah there will be uh something how to loot how to do prone position and everything reload and stuff yeah and, uh, yeah it's i guess planned. that's why i didn't ask because he kind of covered it a little bit um yeah also maybe just i've been curious as to why like whenever i play labs why i have to select the key to open the door i know that's a really weird question 
But like, you know, I go into like I say dorms. I don't have to select the key, but in labs I have to select the key to open yeah, the door. Like, uh, the thing is that the labs in the future, the labs will be accessed through a different location. So uh, th there will be concealed entrances to the labs on the streets of Tarkov location. And these entrances will be under the key card. And right now we don't have this thing live in the game. So we made this kind of gate uh, with okay. the key. And it's just like the UI thing. But in the future, the, there will be no option for you to select labs and jump right in and use your key card. You will need to go to Streets of Tarkov or the factory or, the, or the other location find this entrance use your labs key card and ent enter the labs and if you need to exfil from labs you will be exfilled to a different location for example okay uh, well, I, I, and factory and i stuff. guess what i kind of actually meant was like when i use the key where you have to actually select it to open the door instead of it just says unlock like other keys you know Oh, if I so, go open dorms marked room, it just says unlock instead of I have to scroll and look for the key that I need to select. Is that like you an understand the point, Nikita? Uh, Jinchi is basically saying when you're in labs and you're yeah. in front of the red room, uh -huh. you need to select red and not green. But when uh -huh. you go dorms in front I, of the mark you room, you don't okay, have to select okay, the key. I get it. I get it. You, yeah? don't have a, you don't have a selection option to select. The yeah. Key. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, Just okay. make it easier during okay. PvP sometimes, will, you know? I will write this down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, we don't need that to change. Wait, like, I, mean, I usually I push people it, using the wrong key, and I bully people who's inside red with green just to, you know, stress them out a little bit, you know? Like, just to make fun out of them. side, yeah, look. Like, yeah. that's yeah. what we do. Like, we, <laughs> we mess around with people like using the green key card on purpose to make that sound beep, you know, so they stress yeah. inside of uh, red. Mm -hmm. That's like, the, beauty, the beauty of the community being so having so much variety. Yeah, you can use that into your advantage, but uh, for us, it, it could be disturbing. Okay, okay. Uh, speaking Hyper, of go ahead. Yeah, speaking of labs, I'm not muted. An update on blue. I feel like the room is pretty lackluster right now in uh, terms of loot. Uh, I will note this down too. Because the uh, the Letic spawn is like next to nothing, and the the sim spawns in the room are blue room, yeah. yes, yes, blue room. Because uh, there's the updated spawns like red room is great. Every other room's pretty good right now. It's just blue uh -huh. room. I typically I see nothing. Okay, goes I, I get it. I don't even own blue key card this one because yeah, same. It's, I never like, buy it. <laughs> me neither. Like if I okay, find it, it, I find it. Could, it could be changed easily. Unfortunately, so uh, it's okay. <laughs> I got another question. Um. Yes. Are okay. we in the future going to have any form for kill cam or any kind of replay like when the game is over so we can see and improve our own gameplay like how we did anything wrong and how the enemy played to see how they played, you know, in the yes, future? Of course, I, of course like uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, requests for uh, editing the kill cam and stuff. Right now it's technically really hard for us to do but when we are be making the new networking stuff for the arena it needed uh, the kill cam needed to be done with the arena so we will implement kill cam over there and we will <clears throat> implement it everywhere in the eft2 i don't know how exactly will it will be uh in the EFT, because in Arena, it's kind of understandable, because it's a preset matches. Everything could be like preset, even cameras and stuff. Like the participant could wear like uh, cameras, for example, and record their actions. But in the EFT, it's a live environment, realism and stuff. It will be it will be just unrealistic to actually have uh, this instant uh, replay of your gameplay. So. Most likely, it will be a head helmet cam or something. So the item you will need to buy and uh, put it in on your helmet, and it will record your gameplay, for example. And in the hideout, you will be able to read it and uh, play it, something like this. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Well, like what about sort of like yeah. a like a heat map of where, like a top-down view of where players have like 
moved or been active on the on the map we have we have this thing within our tools uh i don't know maybe in the future we will add this as a uh, servers for example uh, like servers uh, through some uh trader to reveal like the heat maps current heat maps or any other information because this info is pretty cool and uh, really useful for those who want to improve their efficiency, improve their skill, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, because uh, we have this information, as I said, like, as, as uh, inner statistics and everything, but uh, it's just for us. Maybe we'll add it somehow into the game. Mm -hmm. So that means we're um, not going to see any kind of a skill cam in the future, but more when Arena comes out. Is that how yes, we're going to understand it? Yes, yes. This is 100%. Because okay. it technically needed to be done first in Arena, because we will implement it within the new upgraded engine, because the networking in Arena will be better in terms of tick rate, because we need to like make everything really good in terms of networking in Arena, because it will be a competitive thing. Yes. And uh, all of these uh, <coughs> changes, all of these tweaks will be used within the main game too, and uh, uh, most likely it will be merge all together you see thank you so much for prime make man. everything better so arena will bring the quality of the networking up and it not it doesn't mean that it will be only about the arena networking thank you for your prime juicy about much love everything, man. Uh, every aspect of the networking within the game Mm -hmm. Going quickly back to uh, what you mentioned with uh, the blue blue key card and such, we have looted Nikita the ultra medical key um, ultra medical room on interchange multiple times yesterday. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing good. Uh, before, don't change anything, but maybe gather some feedback from other um, community members okay. and, and see if it, it it's low as well okay. because we have tried it yeah. ten yeah. times or so. We actually again we have a tool that uh, like with the press of the button generates the loot and uh, we can perfectly see when it was generated so if mm -hmm. you press several times on the button we can see the propagation of the loot and we, we can check the actual thing which loot spawned over there like the ultra medical room how often it spawns there so we can check we can check it and maybe you're right maybe you're wrong we will check okay perfect i got another one yeah, I know yeah, I have a lot of questions, but I'll... You, you don't have to say I got another one. We were not at kindergarten. Just go ahead. All right. Um, <laughs> I noticed um, on Shoreline, I haven't found that much loot recently um, behind the, the doors with several keys. You know, like where you usually find graphic cards, Tetris, Bitcoin, LedX, mm -hmm. etc. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm unlucky, but I haven't found anything special. Um, recently um the older type of the item spawns was changed and <clears throat> it's nothing uh related to that old times so right now as i've said many times the loot quality and the loot um, how to say it loot mm, loot quality okay loot quality is not changed. Okay. It, it got even higher, but it's it became more propagated. So uh, if you like think that there is no uh, so usually you found like uh, the video cards and LEDXs and you like think that uh, okay there is no such things uh, right now on this location with the new um, the loot spawn system. It's not because it's some there over there but not in usual places and right now with your feedback of course we are balancing this because adjusting adjusting because uh, for example there is a closed rooms with the expensive keys and in the moment uh, the loot is gone over there or like just cheap things over there so we kind of upping the limits up in the quality of this loot ending it like slowly because we don't like i don't like okay i don't like the idea of roaming around the same locations and it was a uh, huge talks about it like oh this is ruining the aspects of the pvp because 
uh, we we uh, we 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 got used to fighting near this um, like points of interest or something. The points points of interest are still exist, but they moved for different areas, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. it's all b b was done to randomize and uh, make the game not mm, as predictable, predict right? Yes, predictable, and of course it you, propagate Simon. the players more. Of course, uh, the game uh, like the boundaries were, were lifted, and everybody roaming around everywhere, and some of you, of course decided that this is not the game that I liked because I don't I, I can't make six uh, bitcoins uh, per hour and I can't make like uh, I can find three video cards and everything and this game is ruined and oh my god uh, the dark of is dead right because again as I said before two steps forward one step back but the game moving towards hardcore and it means that you must be ready for everything. You must be ready for total absence of loot, for example. You must be ready for some cr like critical conditions. We we will make it and we will continue to do it just to model this kind of environment. Hazardous environment. Like the game must be hard. But I totally understand that some of some of you like are not into this kind of thing. And uh, that's why we do a step back, you know, to, to make something uh, less less stressful, to find the perfect point, uh, the perfect uh, mm, balance. And, uh, of course, everything with your feedback. And, uh, of course, so I understand that in my mm, mind, uh, the game lives itself. It's like a world that exists in, in a single moment, like the parallel real reality. But I understand that you guys can't play it like in real life. You can't live in it like in real life. As much as I, I want it to, to, to be this way, you cannot do this. And that's why we need to add more things to make it less stressful, a little bit simpler. And it's nothing about the actual new player's acquisition or holding the old players or something in between. It's just about finding the perfect concept of the game that will be about that thing called hardcore and everything and realistic and playable and, and also etc etc so uh, it's uh, the, the game itself is nothing about an actual uh, marketing plan or something or uh, like the idea to add some kind of list of features and complete all, all fill all the gaps and make a lot of money and everything and bring a lot of players like being number one or something it's still a big experiment and uh, the main goal is to create something that will be <clears throat> perfect <laughs> that simple and yeah. perfect in our terms is uh, realistic and like as much details as possible was, to see. model this uh, reality <clears throat> but within the game that's okay. why it's not suitable for everybody and of course i must i must say that not every decision is right because it's pretty hard to actually model fictional environment with a lot of things that we have right now because it's it's a pretty hard task and uh, that's why we need to change it and uh, feel it and uh, look for the feedback add more things change more things and uh, it's good that there is a lot of players and Dave, he said he's gonna fix that bro understand that i did tell him always happy to give us this kind of feedback uh this is it like again th 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 this is the concept that i always uh, yeah. was about so yeah okay okay um if if you guys um if you guys want i let's start let's start a small maybe just just a question nikita but it's it's the hot potato the big elephant in the room that everybody wants to avoid and uh, you have been like i said before three times in 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 my podcast here so you know that i I'm, i don't hide from um, big questions mm -hmm. yeah um we have i've, I've talked to, to landmark about this um 
we have seen some videos and stuff regarding hackers. I promise this is this is the the, the only question uh, regarding this. But just just listen to me for a moment, yeah. Um, I, we were watching some videos about hackers where they were saying that you guys can do a lot more when it comes to cheaters and hackers, but you guys are not doing it because whatever, yeah, the, the reasons they they brought. Um, what is your position to this? And also, Landmark has a question related to this as well. We want we want to hear your version. We, you know, you have the chance to, you know, that's a, defend that's yourself. A, that, that's a bullshit. Totally bullshit. That somebody thinks that we are not doing. <laughs> uh, I, I know. You don't understand exactly how uh, I'm being bothered. Not about this question. About the whole situation, and I'm being bothered. Not only about the situation itself, because right now it's pretty good, actually, again, about cheaters and stuff. I'm yeah. bothered about insinuations, how to say it in English, these provoca provocational things that we are kind of not into the, this, we are not Exactly, exactly. This kind of bothers me more because it's unfair, because I, and not only I, like a lot of people... Uh, spilling blood, uh, fighting with all of this uh, shit, and uh, it's 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 always infuriating for me. Hear this kind of things that they are with the cheaters, they are cooperating with like cheater developers or something. It's a total bullshit, and uh, it we always hated cheaters and cheat developers, and we will always do everything we can with the help of the battle life with the help of, with our team and with the, like we always making something to make the system uh, better and better and better and uh, this works is just a bullshit it's it's just bullshit and it, it's not true that okay. we are okay. just waiting for something or we just uh, having some kind of profit about it it's I mean, I would never imagine a, a, a gaming company, Nikita, doing this behind. I'm talking about, I'm sorry, know, I uh, it, it's a nonsense, right? What is what is the future of a gaming company if they want to do this be, behind the back of of their the, of their of their the community, is, right? The thing is, the damage uh, is not only the instant damage that uh, cheaters are applying to the game and other players. It's a long-term damage too, and uh, the cheaters is a really big problem for the big companies with big online games. And you can see that there's a lots of examples of the big companies and big games with the cheater problems. And it was it was always a problem, a big problem. And uh, it's it's a really like stupid to think that uh, we are not uh, taking this seriously or something. And uh, of course, they can say whatever they want because I know, like, the perfect examples uh, the cases that this is this was the actual uh, part of cheap developers' work to put the statement, you know, to buy some users and force them to write different kind of articles, posts that cheating, cheating is easy, they are not doing anything and everything. I saw the closed forums with the post where people were instructed by cheat developers what to write and how to write and where to write okay. to compromise. Okay to compromise everything, like to compromise the battle light, to compromise myself, my company, and our effort that we are putting into the fighting with the cheaters. So uh, it was, it's a big business over there. Yeah. And uh, of any... course, of course, there will be a lot of methods, methods and uh, shady persons, uh, they will try to prolong the stay. They will try to uh, create the false like accusations and the false environment yeah. to like to press on us and uh, depress and then yeah, yeah. nikita we we heard your opinion uh landmark uh, and i i totally understand you and what i want you nikita is to not somehow feel um the need of defending yourself with a lot of words we have heard it the community has heard it as well uh you know for me it's enough landmark i think landmark has a question and then we can move on it, for me it's enough basically. yeah it's okay. 
do you have any concern that putting the game in bundle sales has an effect on people cheating? Um, no. I, I have I, I had the concerns about trial keys because when we are uh, spending a lot of keys, like uh, giving these keys uh, for everyone uh, during like New Year sale and everything, they brought a, a lot of cheaters because we saw all the detections and the type of. Uh, was like temporary temporary it was like uh, the keys i wasn't concerned about it uh i think general sentiment from players and other streamers is that one it, it, it doesn't really look that good that the game is on bundle sale when there's you know obviously a, a cheating problem to some extent and also people seem to think that um there's a more prevalence of cheaters after these sales occur do you, mm -hmm. do you guys track any any type of data with that or, or think that that's an issue? Of course, like a lot of data being tracked and it's it was never linked to an actual... Uh, no, of course it's linked to, to a sales because they buy a lot of copies and try to make it... Uh, try, try to cheat it like constantly and everything. But again, uh, the technology is being developed to like different kind of hardware bands and stuff because uh, we banned a lot of like packs of accounts okay with okay. the unused keys so uh, again it's been used as an instrument in war too and uh it's it but i don't know like i never i never thought about that that people were really concerned about like if you have cheaters you should not uh sell different kind of versions so for me it's kind of strange because how it's related because you should not sell cheaper versions or what well i don't think selling cheaper like edge of darkness i mean if you sell if you buy five copies of the game you get a discount yes yes they buy several copies with a discount and uh, it's been tracked and uh, it's been used again so the most damage we can uh, inflict to this kind of people is uh to make them pay and make them pay not only for their cheats because if we work uh really efficient the cheats starts the cheats start to be more expensive like a lot more expensive okay okay and uh it's, it's also related related to this additional costs they will need to buy these copies and if you think that it's it's a kind of big income for us it's not it's not a big income at all and again uh it's uh, it's not profitable at all because uh, the cheater uh, inflict uh, long-term damage and uh, exactly exactly perfectly understand how it's bad because the pressure against like uh, people see cheaters uh nevertheless we are like working really efficient banning thousands of players of cheaters every day and people still think that we do nothing and start to accuse us with any kind of thing things and uh, it's never ending thing especially with the big online popular games it will of course there will be a huge war with them with the arena too but arena will have different kind of things different kind of server architecture and stuff because there's a lot of technical things behind all of this and okay. i saw a lot of posts of technical guys which are uh, they were stand, uh, saying that we are not don't understand how thing works we need to do that we need to do this we don't understand how to how to correctly make the server architecture to have less cheaters or something they don't understand shit you know and uh, every single time when i see such kind of posts i'm just <laughs> okay yeah you're right i guess okay, okay. And, uh, yeah it's it's uh, i wish i could explain you more specific how it is in real life in real game development in such conditions that we have right now in such conditions conditions that we had long time ago within the 20 uh, people within the team with a no knowledge at all and uh, things were changed and uh, it is what it is right now and yeah. i must say that but i saying that for for us uh, this constantly that 
we are moving the industry of the anti-cheat like things related things so we are <laughs> our game created a lot of new methods for cheat developers a lot of new you know holes a lot of new methodical things to create the software to create cheats in other games too but this like Crazy. activity created the anti-measures too and this all like lifted the anti-cheat industry higher too the standards became higher too and the cheats became higher more expensive too mm -hmm. and uh, it's really complicated it, it's it's not like something like oh you should go download something pay a couple of bucks and you will be able to cheat freely in the eft it's not 99 percent you will be banned instantly 99 percent but if you are like a really really stubborn person and have like long history of cheating you could found you could find something yeah. special something important you will spend a lot of money you will be able to play several matches but still you will be banned in okay okay one week or another so this is like not like yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not simple to, to explain actually yeah we heard it we heard it from you uh this is one topic that the majority of the community wanted to address and i want to make it as short as possible nikita because it's you have talked about this in, in every single podcast and i and i i honestly hate it yeah i hate it i started hating it i'm i swear but uh landmark great. if you want to suggest something else please go ahead if not we're going to move to a different one because this could be a never-ending story right no, yeah, I, I, I think that you guys are doing what you can to combat it. I just think that a lot of players get the wrong impression when the game is sold in bundles at a discount. Like, a lot of people are confused why someone would need to buy five copies of the game. Yeah, I, I so get you. I, guess I, would just, I would just consider, you know, okay. looking at Makes sense. Yeah, it, make, point it makes it sense, makes Nikita. Sense. Yes, it makes sense, and uh, uh, it makes sense. I can tell. I can say more because uh, yeah, there is a like grain of truth in it, but it's complicated. Because again, uh, it's so like it's not easy. Because right now, for example, we don't have like the big amount of tears right now. Because mm -hmm. uh, and and it's pretty it's pretty like okay for us to do the discount because it's a annual discount. Like we 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 not we don't do something special. We just do everything that we do every single year. Wait, did you just um, see? It's okay, but okay. of course, of course, when it comes to some kind of did you just say uh, they didn't have that many cheaters? Like cheater outbreak or something. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea to sell uh, cheaper versions with the discounts. But like, I'm thinking about it one evening. The next evening, we ban uh, five hundred, five thousand. Mm -hmm cheaters mm -hmm. and situation became much better so it's kind of okay it's a green light for us to do any kind of activity so it's always changing and uh, 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 there is a pretty hard thing to find this this moment the perfect balance the perfect uh, uh, how to say it the perfect action yeah to, yeah to, to, we to understand it. we understand it nikita nikita um yeah. yes are you guys like your co-workers are they playing the game themselves like are they trying labs etc like trying to see like um you know how it runs etc a lot a lot of a lot of uh, my, my colleagues playing eft a lot of like i think more than half of the company plays eft too and uh, okay. like we have a special chat like suggestions where our colleagues without any limitation to rank or something they just throw different kind of suggestions and they are pretty spe specific you know for the like they are coming from people who know how to play and who know how to make uh, the game better in mm -hmm. the perspective of a professional player so uh yeah like so you guys of, like, actually they have a like big bunch of quality of life features i hopefully uh, the first one will be uh, in this year they were pu purely designed by the suggestions of our colleagues so okay yeah. 
Gingy, are you hyped for Halloween? Would you want to see something special in Halloween in the game? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, definitely the scabs with the pumpkin heads can be scary because uh, in the past I've died to nades that just gone off whenever I killed them. So I don't know if that was a bug, but <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was that was a. Uh... That was interesting to play during. Are you guys planning something special for Halloween, Nikita? Yes. Surprise, I guess. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> Please let it be cultist. Please. <laughs> cultist on every map. On every map at oh, that would be pug. Even on daytime. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Even on daytime. You will yeah. see. You will see. There will be. You will. There will be. Uh, things. You should. Uh. Subscribe for our TikTok. <laughs> uh, we put like different kind of things over there, and uh, yeah, we will put more. What about okay. cosmetic? Um, like in the future, are we going to be able to choose a female or clothing, different faces? Different builds, you know, like a guy who's built like a chank, or maybe a guy who's like a thin character, you know, not that heavy, you know. We we did we didn't plan that because uh, we kind of like completed all this design part that we will have these types of PMCs uh, and the variety of faces. So different body types. It's not that we wanted to make. And uh, I don't know, it's just not in the list. What about um, tattoos, know, females, you know, uh, females characters? The, the, there was a kind of, such kind of questions, and uh, um, and no, we just we just didn't plan that because this type of the game are just designed already, and uh, okay, I don't know, like we will be changed or not, but uh, right now we kind of just decided to move on. And this is it. Okay. I think it's better if everyone's the same size. Yeah. yeah. We had a podcast with uh, a lot of streamer ladies, and we asked the question. I think you were here, Nikita. Same size. And, um, the general response was, no, we don't want a female character. We're good. Uh, yeah, I cannot even imagine one. So I guess it's it's, it's definitely not the priority, right? There are important yes. other important things which yes, need to be course. done. Okay. It's not something, you know, something red flag kind of question or something. It's just like we didn't, we, we just, we just like decided let it be this way. And this is it. And okay. Uh, like, okay. let it be this way. Okay. Uh, Nikita, you, you revealed something. You guys revealed something on TikTok with that guy cutting the bag and then making a vest out of it. Um, is this a hint towards. Um, what was it, guys? Customizable rigs? Has to no, be, right? no, no. It's a hint, but but no, it's not, not about customizable. Rigs. Okay. So you're not gonna say anything no, about no. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I could somehow get some sentences from there, but what about free to ask, my dear friends? What about skills in game? Um, are we going to have the soft skills more balanced in the future, like stuff like? I don't know, like early wipe, you see a lot of people farming different skills and then basically are maxed out strength and endurance and the rest of the community are like 15 level, I don't know, like low levels basically and can't keep up with people who has max strength and it means so much in game, like because some of the skills are really OP. Are we going to see some kind of a balance station like, you know, uh, the, the future the, the whole, the whole uh, skill system is not balanced right now because it doesn't consist of every uh, every skill that we are uh, you know, like plan plans and uh, that's that that means that uh, we will change a lot especially for the release most likely uh, we will I don't know, maybe remove some skills even for the release and add more. Okay. So, yeah, like this uh, still like test, uh, uh, like the big testing thing about the skills and uh, it will be changed for sure in the future. Okay. Um, 
I have a question, uh, I had a popular question on my posts about the SR25 and RSS. Mm -hmm. Do you think ever since the T-Lock nerf, we'll be seeing updates around those weapon stats? Because right now I don't think they're any comparable to the M1A. Uh, okay, I will look into this. Interesting stuff, Hyper Red coming yeah, there with that Yeah, that's true, the RSS used to be my favorite gun, and I feel like it's just not the yeah. same anymore. Um, mm -hmm. With the RSS 2, was it a purposeful change to remove the uh, barrel attachments? The one, uh, I forgot the exact name of it, I think it was the NWS. You mean handguards? Yeah, the yeah, handguards. Yeah. Hand Sorry, yeah, I messed up. I've noticed this as well, Nikita, yes. Yeah, because we... we, we uh, I think that we discovered that something was not done right before that. So, some, some parts uh, doesn't fit in real life. And we removed it from something like okay. that. Okay. What about the SA-58? Oh. <laughs> I missed that gun, but I know it was really OP. It's just... So it's not, it's, like it's, it's, it's not that not good usable. anymore. The ergo is done. Like, ergo is no, zero it's, ergo. It's, uh -huh. yeah. okay. I see the, <laughs> the irony. Look at look at Nikita's irony, guys. Look at look at look at, at his face. He's like, aha, aha. Yeah. Is no, it not uh, I, I thought it's not irony. Actually, I write it down. Uh, to... It's Are you serious. Okay. 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 Uh, SA fifty eight HK. Um, what else, guys? Come on. Um, M four. Yeah, is it that, is it that <laughs> those guns are bad now, or is it just some of the other stuff too good? They just feel not good to use. If that makes sense, like they're ergo. For those, for those who are watching uh, this podcast uh, in the chat and things like, oh, the streamers will change and ruin the game, the game once more. It doesn't mean that I will change something right yeah. away. I just noting things to check. And, okay. uh, yeah, maybe I, I will I, change I, some things. I don't so, think like the HK is in that bad of a spot. I think like the mutant and like the M4 are a little too strong comparatively. Yeah. Like the HK, if you put 40 round mags in it, don't put a 60 round mag in it. It's pretty good. I I use it with 40 rounders, yeah. So yeah, guys, like Nikita good. said, yeah. I, I didn't repeat this or I didn't say what Nikita was saying before because he has been part of multiple podcasts and he said it, yeah. It doesn't mean that if I'm writing something down tomorrow, you're going to see uh, an, an FN fell with 70 ergo. It's not going to happen. Yeah, I was just joking. Happen. Like, I just want to make that clear real quick. Mm. It was just a joke. I want to, I want to, if you guys allow me for a moment, Nikita, I want to address a more technical question coming from the community, which is related to servers. I've talked to people from, uh, from Africa. I've talked to people from Chile, yeah, South America and so on. And they said, we only have one server in Brazil. Can you please ask for more servers in our regions? How is the general situation looking like, uh, Nikita? Are they are are the servers in, available in like uh, the majority of the places on on the world in the world? No, because right now all of the business is moving into the internet sphere, and uh, still, okay, it started with the pandemic, and everybody buying servers, and it's it's not uh, especially in the hard places. Uh, there is not so much servers. Uh, and they are really expensive and the internet quality is bad over there. So it's always uh, like it's another big part of work. Uh, we have a lot of uh, like engineers related to this thing. They like searching for servers, ordering them, uh, installing and everything. And uh, for the most populated areas, there is no problem mostly. But okay. But in some areas of our planet, there is still a lack of servers, a lack of good servers. And uh, if even if we had some kind of, we have some kind of good servers, uh, uh, some well, for example in Middle East, Middle East for example, it costs a lot. It's not that much good enough, and the okay. internet, internet is like bad or too expensive. And it doesn't mean that we didn't, uh, we don't, we don't buy it. We don't uh, like rent them to use. We still rent them, but it's not much service over there too. Okay. It's not like tens or like dozens or hundreds of servers that we need. It's like two or three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, okay. Okay. what about those people who's living in those areas? Is it possible to increase ping level a little bit higher up so they can play on other regions? Because I know I got a lot of people who's from the Middle East africa who can't play on several 
servers. Like, for example, if they want to play on EU, they can only play on one or two EU servers. Mm -hmm. um, so is it possible to get the ping limit a little bit higher up? So Yes, we thought about it, actually. And I, I, I actually noted it down after some podcasts, and for some reason I decided not to do it because something technical was behind it. Okay. And, uh, maybe I need to like write it down again. Is it cutting out a lot? I'm sorry. Uh, what is it? I had a. Is it cutting uh, out a lot? Some people from my chat had a recommendation of maybe um when you go to labs instead of using the key card maybe the key card is locked from your your case so when you do extract you have another opportunity to go without paying again. Is that a possible? I'm sorry, idea? I missed. I'm sorry, I missed your question. <laughs> Could you repeat? Uh that? yeah. So like if you uh, buy a lab key card, correct, and you extract from the lab. Uh -huh. uh, you're able to you get the key card back in a sense so like you oh, okay thank you why? <laughs> you used it well, why you should... yeah. well some people just had a recommendation so like if you do extract like you ha technically still have the key card but uh it's just some, what some people no it's like a single use key card you know like we have we, we had such Kind of key cards in the metro stations. It's just single use card. Right. You use that, and this, and this is it. You, it's it's not it's nothing like you just you open the door, yeah. use your card, and that's it. Yeah, it's not my yeah. recommendation. It's uh... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm from a Twitter, yeah. <laughs> um, would you want to tell us a bit more about the unconscious uh, status? This describe it a bit, or or no, or talk about it. No, no, nothing new. Nothing new right now. And. Uh... We are not working on it right now. We do work on it. Thank you so much for the months. I appreciate okay. that. But uh, right now, it's, we, we, don't, we don't work uh, about unconscious state and everything. Okay. So it, you don't have clear parameters when it comes to it. This is how it's going to work and this and that. Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Please, guys, go ahead. What about... Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. I've been talking too much. Y'all can... <laughs> I'll I'll just listen a little bit. Well, so I was actually wondering because my chat um brought it up to me about the epsilon container um that some of them Andrea, think about it too much. I appreciate that. Quest to turn it in. <laughs> Is there gonna be anything for the people that sold it? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, because the the quest came out and people after. had already sold it. Like the quest yeah, came I out totally after. I totally understand that. Again, like, could they have a quest to get it back? And yeah, redo like it? The, the, there was an idea to give something to bring it back. It's like temporary thing, but I was kind of rushed within different kind of work uh, at the, at that moment, so I kind of forgot. And uh, okay, I need to <laughs> write it down. I mean, what could be available? What, what do you? What? Why are you? Why are you having in mind, Jinji? Like I, somehow I know, magically getting the just redoing the quest line to get it back because I know a lot of people want they miss out on being able to do that quest and they want to do it because it's so much XP. I sold it. I deleted it actually. <laughs> I deleted I it. it. Okay. All right, Nikita is writing something down there. I, we don't know what's going to happen if something is going to happen. Uh, yeah, I, I just uh, wrote it down to check um okay i had a okay. quick question without the uh i noticed you guys added a new hitbox the back of nape hitbox do you think there will be like any armors or anything like that that will sort of cover that area we didn't actually add it lately it was old or yeah, it's yeah old, it was... but, like, but will we see any changes with that or like any armor that protects that sort of area i don't know maybe we'll we'll think about it actually because i need to check if there anything with the this kind of protection exists i think there's only one helmet that protects it i can't remember what it is oh i i understand what, the, the ab and tail on the CSA. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. okay yeah yeah that's the only one but i actually didn't even realize that was in the game until recently i don't know if maybe you guys changed the hit boxes they do uh -huh. seem a little different eventually yeah okay i will check it too Okay. Are we going to see some kind of areas with radiation in the future? In the future. In the future? 
because there is some stuff where it says removes radiation yeah, you know yeah, yeah. In, mm. in the future most likely in some dlc DLC. Uh, there will be some radiation leak mm -hmm. or something, so mm -hmm. yeah, we will make stalker in the EFT. Uh, do you guys plan on continuing events like you like you were doing um, towards the end of last wipe, and then even this wipe with like um, putting R Rishala on shoreline? Yeah, yeah like uh, well, this. The, well, the general event idea will be uh, used a lot, and uh, especially in the pre-wipe uh, period. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nikita, one question from uh, my part of community: Do you think? Do you think that Tarkov blew up too fast, and it took you guys a lot to catch up with it? It was. You know, with like two years ago. Yes, the first uh, hype, like New Year's hype, when we are like blew up a lot. It was unexpected. Yes. The second time was expected because literally uh, we stabilized everything within the three days. Like two years ago, the game was like rattled and uh, shaken for the two months or three months right after this burst of uh, new players. And uh, yeah, of course. And in general, uh, maybe yeah, because like literally we had a concept that we will make the game in three years maximum and uh, we will be making it for the closed amount of players the true dedicators i think like five fifty k people for example we will have online of hundreds or two hundreds and uh, we will make it for them like these tests and things and we will complete the game release it and then we will become popular and give and get all of the profits and okay and good things and the, it didn't work like that it didn't work like that and of course it made corrections it kind of damaged our minds of course some of us got burned out some of us okay. like uh, uh, changed <laughs> and uh, for myself for, for example <laughs> And uh, it was not expected, of course. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, so from right, from one side, it's it's a good thing, like the popularity, like all of these things, income, uh, and, and of uh, course, yeah, and, uh, and uh, no, but most importantly, that your uh, design, your creation is working, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's it's a magic thing, and uh, and the other side, it's. Uh, Crunches, madness, pain, tears, uh, even blood, you know, like, and uh, it was, uh, you always, I always put that onto the, like, the, the vases, you know, on the, on the vice. Uh, is it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> is it yeah. worth it? Is it profit? Is it good emotions worth it? Because literally, there is a lot of moments when I just sit and... I was so frustrated and I didn't understand how to do, how to move forward because it's, it was too hard, especially with all this pressure being done. And, and every time I see the small game gets like mm, a lot of uh, interest, a lot of uh, visibility and a lot of players and they start to, uh, their backend starting to like uh, to fail and everything and I kind of feel it you know I, I, I perfectly see how they are stressed because they didn't expect that this small game uh, will be like an explosion will be something so new and refresh refreshing so millions of players will try to play their game and uh, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of hard and uh, we, we, we passed that and uh, uh, for us the moments of well, this like calmness, the moments where everybody waits for the new patch, it's a good moment for us because everything is stable, and we should not and worry. Working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we are not worrying about technical aspects of stability of servers, for example. We just work, and we need to fulfill the obligations. We need to fulfill our promises to bring uh, the new inertia and void will come next wipe, guys. This is kind of 
stressful too, but not that stressful when it when everything is failing and you are losing the potential because mm. you see that you, you you have like 50k online but you can have more you have 150k q line because they cannot uh wow. play yeah. on your servers due to wow. overloading and this is kind of missed opportunity mm. and it's really hard to 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 take and uh, uh for myself and uh, it can knock you down yeah yeah for sure, sure. like for sure. you see that you you see such a big amount of interest in the, the game and you see how many players wanting to play your game but all they can see loading profile mm -hmm. loading profile and uh, it's it's devastating actually it was devastating right now we got a lot of experience high load experience and everything and we already i guess almost for, for everything right now but uh still uh always something interesting happened uh not only related to our side of like hardware or something it's always something around the internet could fail you know there could be major outages or something and can happen yes Oh, and it, yeah. it, of course it influences on uh, everything but again it's it's much easier to understand and take than uh, something that we missed something that we didn't plan and uh, didn't order enough servers didn't order good servers didn't make the actual like we didn't even plan we didn't even uh, how to say it uh, Predict. Foresee yet? Foresee it. Yes, we didn't even predict that we will be needed professional anti-cheat protection, for example, because mm -hmm. we didn't th thought about that. Some of like big amount of players, big amount of uh, really like big and shady companies will try to make cheat for our games, like the big companies in that shady market. We didn't even imagine it because. We always thought about EFT, it will be a niche game for not for everybody, and we will develop it in the happiness, and everything will be okay. And we yeah, will do it for yeah. three years. And, uh, and, and, we'll, yeah. and we'll, uh, right after the release, we will start to make a new game. So <laughs> this was the initial concept. And right now, it's so complicated because, again, the huge influence, of course, from the community. community uh, like influences a lot uh, a lot of feedback a lot of things that uh, forces us actually forces us to make things change things and it's not uh good actually it's not an easy work it's not like comfortable kind of work comfortable kind of work when we have plans and you are working by the plans uh, eight hours per day for example five days per week and that's it but if you're forced to do something <laughs> um, daily quest for example <laughs> it's yeah. it, 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 it's not that comfortable but again if we see that something that we did with the stress uh, suits you well and you are all like liking it it's it's our like one and only award for mm. us mm. yeah yeah Please, uh, my dear friends, ask uh, some more. Are we going to see snow in Tarkov in the future? Maybe. Yes. Because we have uh, the rain, we have the sun, you know, and it would be fun to see, like, sun in the map, like, under, I mean, not sun, snow on the map and see footsteps, like, track the enemy down, etc. Like, it's all related to snow. So, I can tell you about it because it's, it's not like something we didn't plan but uh it's planned actually but i don't know when and how it will be implemented but most likely yes there will be snow steps yeah okay, okay. Are we, uh is there any plans on the second iteration of the scope overhaul or anything like that uh actually i'm we like what we have right now okay of course it could be changed more yeah. The important thing uh, that is coming is a new ballistic. 
new Too ballistic possible. system like the ballistics will be over war over done reworked and it will be before the end of this year so get ready okay the ballistics will work like in real life right now they don't work like in real life with this derivation the, the, the bullet drop is too 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 hard too big is that going okay. to affect armor penetration and damage or is that just as, in terms of like bullet flight it's just the physical thing but of course the bullet will have higher speed on the higher distances and the energy will be higher of course so the penetration will be higher damage will be higher okay what about a boss in labs since we have a boss is almost in every single map you are the bot in labs landmark hyperad you guys are the bot the bot the I'm, bosses i mean like why not <laughs> I, okay. You no, I'm just. I'm no, I'm just asking, like, because I I've yeah, seen yeah, like lighthouse gonna have new bosses, uh, streets gonna have bosses. <laughs> like we got tequila, we got killer, we got. You know? I know. Like I like the bosses concept, and and the main thing about them that I like is that we always can make something new in terms of AI, and uh, uh, we could make uh, the raider boss. And it will be not only on the labs location, it will be everywhere where you can uh, find uh, raiders. But, I don't know, it's possible actually. Possible. Okay. Um, a question, I think, I think this, is, this is something we, we all will, would like to see, would, would like to hear an answer for. Nikita, you have talked about multiple times. I remember in one of the on one on Pestili's po podcast, Clean with Fair TX, you talked about switching from primary to secondary faster. That never mm -hmm. happened. When are we going to see that? Pistols are in, useless in the game. In, uh, you will able to see this in uh, uh, this uh, new iteration of weapon malfunctions when you receive will when you will receive malfunction in that moment you will be able to quickly change to a pistol really quick that's nice okay so okay. this this thing will be implemented this way for now so uh, just to give you an ability to quickly change to a secondary that's and, nice uh, uh, not to like troubleshoot your gun just to shoot with your pistol that's nice instead. actually okay that's because nice. you're saying because it will take a lot longer to uh, fix that stoppage instead of, of switching to second you're saying or you guys are going to increase the speed from switching from primary to, to secondary uh, you know so what i mean once so again. what i'm saying is you're you're saying that we are going to use the pistols more in dispatch because of the malfunction is it mm -hmm. because it's taking a lot more time to 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 fix that stoppage that malfunction that you have mm -hmm. or because you guys are going to increase the speed between switching from primary to secondary uh right now it's only because uh it will require more time to remove the malfunction okay yeah. okay okay to, okay to the pistol and so, uh, we see we see how it will go and implement it uh, not only for the malfunction thing but in general too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay guys I Jinji, had someone... but yeah hyper Red, please please go ahead Jinji, prepare the next uh, one <laughs> okay someone uh i had another request on my twitter about uh the state of ghillie suits i know you leaked some pictures about we're gonna have wipe mm -hmm. guys don't worry ago, we're gonna have wipe. the current state of that how they're uh, right now they're not in game waiting for their turn hmm. sounds good what about stronger pistols like desert eagle revolvers Revolvers are pretty soon, so the first revolver shotgun will be, will be in the game, and right after it, we plan to add the revolvers, like that old ones that we did a long time ago. We also have the uh, 12.7 revolver, two 50 cal revolver. So yeah, there will be more powerful pistols. Uh, I don't know about the sort of your classical version. But uh, maybe there will be nine mil dessert eagle. I don't know actually. Maybe there will be some kind of fancy dessert eagle 
from uh, boss or something but still i don't know when we didn't model it yet because we still more important uh we have more important weapons to model right now that's gonna be nice what about like customizing our guns in some kind of like not too fancy like without making it looking purple and sh like stuff like that but like just to make it more personal your ak maybe write your name on it i don't know a sticker on it uh, like it's all like about the customization like camouflaging you know, weapon paints and stuff that uh, which are planned which this is planned uh for a long time ago and uh i don't know about names and everything but the painting will be in the game for sure okay not soon not a priority i guess right yes yes <laughs> no definitely not okay uh will we see player loot maybe be worth a little bit more because i've noticed in a lot of uh fights and stuff like that selling like weapons or like selling people's you know gear is not as profitable as like picking up like you know, some conditioned milk for example something like that so like I making it worth a little bit more mm, i don't know it needs to it needs to be um the, the well, thing is, it's not profitable to make change. PvP. Yeah, it's not pro PvP is like not as profitable as what I'm trying to get along. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Or maybe just making it to where we can sell guns on the flea again. Kind of okay. make PvP or, more reasonable um, then. Is there any way you could like tag items that a player equipped when they entered the raid and you got more value from the vendor for selling those specific items. I don't know. So like instead of selling a gun for thirty percent of its value, you get sixty percent of its original value. It just it needs to be mm, how to say it. Not research. Yeah, research. It needs to be research. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can tell you because yeah. there are lots of things, there are lots of items within the game, and I don't know. If something uh, we change in something related to the economy, it moves the balance always, yeah. and uh, it's not yeah. that simple just to change something. We need to research it mm. first. The thing Maybe... is, we actually losing money by doing PvP. Yeah. Like we're not making money; we are losing money because the bullets are expensive. When we're selling the stuff, we're not even getting halfway through, but we just spent just by the bullet. Yeah, you know, I perfectly. Uh, uh, see that you are not kind of uh how do you say it i'm starting to lose it actually because it's too late already <laughs> uh, you're not you're not uh you, you do not have блин я не знаю как сказать короче вы не бедные как это сказать по-английски нахрен you have money and there is no problem for you to to get it so what's the what's the problem you need to uh, earn more money with pvp or to make more money in general or you are not making money at all I, I just feel like a lot of people avoid pvp and they avoid it because there's no like aspect of making money with pvp if that makes sense so people tend to avoid it they feel so that they go not... the other way Okay. They, they don't often want to take the risk of fighting somebody because yeah, the, the the risk of reward is non-existent mm -hmm. there where they hide somewhere <laughs> and wait for you i don't know actually because uh some of like all my uh like players saying that like like constantly telling his stories about what they got from uh the from pvp what gear what weapons and like they are totally happy with it um nikita we have been live for about two hours with you mm -hmm. is it okay if we take like five questions from the chat and and yeah. end it is let that it okay be, yeah let's be five questions and i'm kind of okay yeah kind of kind of tired because i still need to be uh i still need to uh, work thing out things out uh, right after today's patch so yeah mm -hmm. okay perfect perfect so guys feel free to ask and uh we are going to take you guys you guys as well the guys uh, the guests 
you guys take uh, um, some questions as well and when we reach five then uh, we're gonna end it there yeah because it's friday um and a patch has been delivered maybe the guys have still have uh, some work to do and it's wicked yeah mm -hmm. i saw a good question earlier um please yeah it's because a lot of people uh who's not a streamer who, who can't play this game as much as the streamers can um they won't be able to get kappa will there be anything in between kappa and epsilon yes well, okay in the future like something yeah okay, okay. i i i, I kind of trying to get this new container in 12.12 .12, but i'm not sure that we will be in time because it needs to be coded because it's a pretty unique thing so eventually there will be an intermediate container okay uh hyper Red, feel free to take one question as well from the chat if you are in any chats and Jinji as well and i'm going to i'm going to go with one i found very interesting um what do you think or what do you think what is the status with with uh, loadout pre presets nikita it's also something you you mentioned multiple times um it's not in production but it's planned okay so it's not going to be soon guys yeah it's not soon like in the in the end of this year but uh okay. most likely it will be the next as year, we only have three questions left next year make it count guys it's a quality of life three questions left guys make it count and this kind of patches with make it count guys features okay okay something uh, will we see like updated attachments for like the um the mcx uh maybe the scar mm. upcoming patches yes okay yes scar okay um, scar is coming for sure i i promised you that the scar will be in 12.12 12 yeah. and it will be i remember yeah. no, I see what I the north remembers okay. um tony uh, landmark do you have a final question maybe all of your your own questions or maybe something from the chat if you have been following um i'm pretty good right now okay right. we hit a lot of Gingy, if you have one please go ahead um, I think the only question I have that someone sent me to ask was, will there be a change in the current ammo prices um, for like meta ammo, like the 762 BP? Um, be because a lot of the meta guns are being used, but then there's not really like any, um, like, People aren't enjoying running different guns because, say, like APSX and 7N31 are so much more expensive than BP when you can just run a meta gun with BP and it'll be so much cheaper. Okay. So, what's the question? Is, will there be any ammo, ch like price changes at all? Maybe to be able to w use guns that aren't so, like, meta? per se, to have more options that um, will... Yeah, of course, because uh, we kind of changed a lot of ammo prices with the 12.11, and uh, we kind of shifted the meta and expanded to more weapons and more ammo types. And it still needs another iteration for it, so mm -hmm. most likely, yes, like for the next wipe, I don't know where, when it will be, uh, we will make this uh, balancing change and, uh, like, what's your you, you said about maybe okay. could you possibly give us like craftable ammo for like the um like APSX or something in the hideout I don't know maybe yeah, geez. yeah like I did ask about the decent guys usually like it's, this is a task like we need to um I asked about some um, I did ask about like desync and vertical sound more guys usable or less usable and it's always not only about the price changes, it's also about uh, crafting recipes and everything. So mm -hmm. usually it's linked together. Yeah, I just, I yeah. think a lot of the community is getting bored of like the meta guns right now. MK47, and they would like to... GNG, and HK, and M1A, and, yeah. and, and M61, right? They just want right? more variety, but it's more like some of the ammo is more expensive than the meta guns, if that yeah. makes sense, yeah. you know? Yeah. I don't yeah, think I have more questions. Like, like uh, a good guys. example here would be the MP7 AP ammo. It's gone. Yeah, you, you, and if yeah, you want to so buy expensive. it, it's like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then you maybe can go give us the possibility a, to craft some in the in the hideout, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. All right, uh, final question. Anyone has it or should I go for it? Please, if you have it, go ahead. If not, I'm going to ask. I I've been talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tony, we have asked one each. Do you have one now, maybe? Um. No, I'm I'm good right now. It's all good if you don't. I think we hit a lot of it. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, like what Ginger said, right now, like 7.62 BC yeah. is like the most prevalent ammo in the game by far. Um, yeah. From Raiders, crafting, and then purchasing it from Prapper. It yeah. Like everyone is using that right now, and um, probably looking into that and spicing it up would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Final one from me, Nikita. Uh, what is the status on uh, the um, announced weapons? RPD, SAW, G36, uh, AUG, um, um, SCAR, you mentioned that. All, all those goodies. Revolver, yes. uh, Desert Eagle. Yeah, I actually answered about all, all, uh, almost every gun. Uh, G36 is being modeled right now. Uh, RPD is like was ready a long time ago, but it needs to be animated, and uh, as I said, uh, there will be uh, the boss weapon, and uh, so it, it, and boss weapon. This boss will be on the streets of Tarkov, so it will not be soon. Uh, okay. Will okay. Be in twelve point twelve, so like it's getting there. Like we okay. We're adding weapons, trying to add more weapons, and like actually, there's lots of weapons right now within the game. All we need, mm -hmm. I think, is Belfan machine guns, more pistols, a yeah. couple of iconic uh, rifles, assault the rifles. The iPod having a use, maybe, right? Yeah, and uh, then this is it. Like, we have all of the classes uh, filled up, and uh, yeah. No, we're good to go. Would you would you want to, to say something to the community as a final word? Something you would ask us, maybe, or, or some stuff like that? And then we can wrap it up. Well, I don't know, actually. Like, uh, it's always a good thing to have you, the community, a positive community, uh, who believes in us and always, like, they, we are sure that we will bring you uh, what you want. And uh, you're going to feel that we are kind of focused on our principles and our philosophy to make the game uh, how we want to make it and it's always a good thing to see that you understand this and uh, the support of course uh, I don't know like I wish you only the best and uh, uh, let's wait for new things that we are working on right now go ahead and test these daily quests of course there, there could be bugs and different issues we will fix them right away and um yeah like this is it i will uh, like the new the new players uh, are also very welcome and uh, uh, all of these difficulties and uh, like hard to get things uh, in eft uh, they, they could be frustrating, but again, this is the game. This is what we uh, created, and uh, it was it 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 was and it is about uh, the knowledge, like the in, the intellectual approach. So don't get too mad, don't get too frustrated. You could you could rest. You could not play the game all the time. You could not play the game at all. You could come back later. But uh, we still will. We still will be there. We'll be here. Continue making the game. I hope next year we will you know, give you the release date, and uh, it will be a good. It will be a huge event, of course, and uh, we will celebrate it. Like, and it will be really cool for us for, and for everybody. So yeah, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you. participating one more time, Nikita. Uh, guys, final words for Nikita, and then we're going to wrap it up, guys. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank, Keep you. On. thank you for your questions. Uh, a lot of no notes I, 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 I took, taken, took, I don't know how to say it, 
and uh, I will see what I can do with your suggestions, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Question and thank, okay. thank chat for the questions too and your reactions. You're the great. Thank you very much. Nikita, bye bye. Have a beautiful weekend and thank you one more time for joining us. It was a pleasure, like always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be going fixing the game. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. So that, that was it, guys. Nikita is going to leave and is going to hopefully have a beautiful weekend. And definitely want to thank him for the beautiful, beautiful appearance. I'll be fixing so the game. Feedback. Bye bye. I must confess that I do have 20 more questions and I have we, we've made the list together with the viewers and I'm sure you guys have more but um, maybe a second part uh, sometime in the future or so uh, but it was yeah it was very informative for me and uh, it was a bit cringy yeah seeing you guys uh, not knowing what to ask and this and that <laughs> and you know um, I mean I have no. I had the best question but I just didn't have the you know the guts to ask like I wanted to see a Nikita streamer item but <laughs> oh, like, that would be cool. Like, what would it be? What? I don't know. No. A <laughs> golden AK, yeah. that would be pug like uh... Okay. I mean I asked the tough one so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were both into them, and uh, I, I, I actually want to ask about the mobile authenticator. What do you call it? You know the thing where you need to, um, just like Counter Strike, they had the thing two with factor? the mobile two factor. No, 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 no. authenticate with a phone number. Exactly, exactly. Ooh, okay, oh, that does yeah. anything. Isn't that easy to get around? Shit, I don't know. Is it a fake number? Yeah. Oh, you can it's do. It? Kind of a... I don't know. Shit, I. <laughs> Just asking, right? No, I'm like, maybe that will help a little bit, but I didn't want to put some salt on the wound. Like, I, I don't want to get banned. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the problem with this is um, he he has been going through this uh, a lot of time, and I see that it affects him per personally, you know, because have you seen the the immediate change in attitude when we ask the hacker question? You know, that that's why I, I, I try to avoid that. But... You know, it's, you need you need to ask, man. There's a lot of pressure, and you see, you have the feeling that when you go in, like I told you guys on Discord, you have the feeling that when you go on competitive maps, every second raid, you find someone shady, right? But as I have learned with you, Glorious, I don't know if you guys. Have seen <laughs> that, I was ready to report Glorious to Dimitri. Hey! <laughs> He was so suspicious. Even he said, now they're going to run for the extraction because he, they think I'm a hacker. That's exactly what I did. And uh, after I died, I said, guys, send me the clip. I'll send it to Dimitri. Let's report this bitch. Uh, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, the thing is, I faked it. Like, I faked it on purpose that you guys thought I was a cheater. Like, I went with, um, what do you call it? An M4 without a suppressor. And I shot you guys from a distance. So you guys... Thought I was a cheater because you thought I shot you from the, the other part of the map yeah. on labs. Yeah. And yeah. I pushed the shit out of you guys and <laughs> <laughs> I was a cheater. <laughs> hyper hyper red, happy with uh, the podcast? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh I wish I could ask a little bit more questions, but Okay. Well, you had a lot some... more? Uh, you made a list like like uh, I did or so or yeah, I made a small list. Uh, I didn't want to answer, like, ask some pretty harsher questions, but I don't think it, the room wasn't that like there. I should say. Okay. 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 Or like we weren't like kind of on the topic, so. It's all good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. What are you guys going to do now? Uh, start the stream, or you guys from the U.S. Right. I'm going to eat. I have pizza on the way. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> Bro, okay, I've been streaming cool. since 9 a.m. I'm tired, oh, man. Wow. It's it's 11 yeah. p.m. now. My okay. ass hurts. You deserve a rest and, and a beautiful weekend. Okay, <laughs> uh, guys, it was a pleasure. Yeah, I um, honestly enjoyed the time with you guys, except with those cringy moments. Yeah, when I say like, oh my god, what what is happening? They don't want to ask questions. Should I go for it? <laughs> then the community will consider will consider me. Uh, you know. Uh, okay, but we're good. We're yeah. good. We're good. We're good. The chat was kind so, of something, I'm not going to lie. True. Okay. <laughs> I get shy sometimes, though. I, I can't, I don't know, I, like, my brain stops and I can't think of questions. I think he hit, like, the main topics for me, like, 
the next stuff coming, the big changes are the weapon malfunctions. He hit that. We know streets and lighthouse are coming. Yeah. Um, yeah. I doubt they're going to be adding like little small things here and there in between. Like they have a lot of major stuff to push out. So, um, I think he hit on those pretty well. Okay. All right. We're good then. We're good. And we didn't put too much stress on. Dimitri was telling me on Discord, yeah. Uh, how far, how long do you think the podcast is going to last? And I said, hey, as long as Nikita wants, you know. When Nikita says no, then and then Dimitri said, ask him. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm revealing a bit of info here, but it's nothing that secret. And that's why I asked Nikita for the last five questions because uh, if if I mean, I, I swear I have twenty more questions there, and the questions were popping on Discord, uh, on on you know, incredible, incredible, yeah. Guys, thank you one more time for participating. It was a beautiful episode thank of you, thank you. Um, our Thank you for the invite, podcast. man. Always a pleasure. Um, I hope I will see you guys uh, maybe play some duos together, some stuff, you know. If not, then I will see you in another episode of our podcasts, you know, especially the guys who have um, a lot of questions and are interested into the future of the project. And uh, guys on chat, there are still, we were at 3,000 something, there's still 1,677. We are, we have been, I forgot to say this, I forgot to tell you this, guys, but we have been restreamed on, on the official channel of Battlestate. So there, I saw 9,000 viewers or so. And also uh, the German, the, um, there was a German translation, uh, you know, for, for this podcast. So for those guys who want to follow these beautiful people, you have you have Jinji there. It's twitch.tv four slash Jinji. Then Hyperrat, it's four slash Hyperrat underscore Twitch TV or something like that, right? Yeah, Hyperrat TV. Yeah. There you go. And then for Glorious, it's Glorious underscore E. What is it, Glorious? Is it like that? Yeah. I yeah hello yeah for my yeah. chat if you guys are watching on the other <laughs> streams then i'm gonna go guests here and then yeah for landmark is four slash landmark uh, i'm sure if you google you're gonna find even some um other type of pictures with them yeah you're gonna find them on facebook no i'm, I'm just kidding <laughs> but you guys know who, who who these guys are yeah so definitely leave a follow and um talk to them you know, give them feedback how good they were on the podcast or maybe not. And yeah. Thank you so much for the followers, guys. Appreciate that. That was it. All right. All thank right. you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having us. Real quick. Always a pleasure. Enjoy your evenings, guys. And we'll any of you guys going to start playing we'll now? Time. Real quick. Any of you guys? Yes. I'm just asking any of you guys who's going to start playing now? Oh, yeah. I will be playing. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go live, I think. Because I'm going to go okay. to bed, so, like, I'm just going to throw the people away yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I'm, so I'm going just... to raid you guys as well. So Wh Whoever is going live now yeah. is going to Bro, get... Bro, it's way too late for me. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Mm -hmm. I've been, like, I'm tired. I just got so, up, so I'll be... It's like 10 a.m. here. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, I got up oh. at 6 a.m. Oh, wow. Okay. Tony, you're going like, live not right gonna now? Not going to toss... No, not yeah, throw away, so. but, I mean, like, I'm okay, going to go to bed, bro. That's what I'm talking about. is... Wife is about to kill me, chat. Yeah, Come on, man. I've been on the computer since Tony's nine. Bro, wife is about no, to kill I mean, me, fam. Glorious can come and visit one of you guys, and I can come and, and visit. Bro, I'm in a pro. Uh, bro, I've been I've been sitting and playing State on computers State since nine in the morning, man. Wife is gonna kill me, fam. I'm in trouble, fam. I'm in trouble, man. Okay, okay. Then, Hyperat, are you live or or if yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Bro. <laughs> look at one of I've been drunk, bro. I've been guys. sitting on the computer can... since nine in the morning, right. man. Okay, glorious, <laughs> glorious. You rate one of our beautiful guests, and I'm gonna rate the other one. Yes. Bro, I need to be quick. Wife is about to kill me. Uh, first one you find. First one you find. Life. <laughs> all right. <laughs> guys, take care of yourselves. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, bye, -bye. Talk to you bye. Bye, bye bye. Guys, bye -bye. who are we? Who are we rating, guys?